Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Season 3 of the ESL MKX Pro League. My name is Dustin Kane. Joining me, as always, is Wander Chef. Hello, sir. I am so excited for this season. We're going to have some really good matches. But joining us this season, we will have a correspondent, and you in particular may know him very well from Season 1, Mr. Brian Compton. What's up, guys? It is great to be back. I am extremely excited for Season 3. As always, it's an honor and a privilege to be here. Uh, this season should be absolutely epic. We started the Pro League with an amazing, massive bracket of almost 500 competitors, which is actually a record for the Pro League. And we've narrowed that all the way down to just our top eight. And let's hear what some of those players had to say about making this week's broadcast. What's up, everybody? It's uh, Relentless here, uh, Shaolin player from Casa Grande, Arizona. And uh, this is my first top eight, so I'm pretty excited. You know, Jupiter, you know, Jupiter's a guy to look out for, trust me. But, you know, honestly, I think I could take him. Uh, I've been training hard in the Jacks matchup, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I want to give a big shout out to uh, Milky and Jaeger Jacks, also uh, Sierra Gun Show and Slayer for, you know, showing me the ways of Kung Jin. And, uh, yeah, let's do this. I'm Beyond Talks, and also known as Juan Contreras. All I got to say is, Cali, come for you. And I want to give huge shout-outs to Noah Pro Gaming, Maze, my dad, Big D, and Katana Prime. Hey guys, Jupiter here. I'm sponsored by uh, Team Noble. Let me smack to make down my friends call me mad. Right now I'm going to college to study psychology. You know, I'm pretty good at getting feels, uh, getting inside of people's heads. My first opponent is Relentless, not too sure who that is. So I'm not worried because I've been here before and he hasn't. And the equipment I want to have you after him, you know, I'm not too worried about them either. Jupiter like <laughs> is the most like chill trash talk that I've ever seen. It is. I, I think they could step up the uh, energy a little bit. Oh, a little bit, but that's I mean that's classic Jupiter though. It is, it is. And uh Toxin seeming relatively confident. What do you think? Well, more importantly, I want to know what our viewers think. So make sure, guys, you follow those directions in Twitch chat, and you can cast your vote on these matches, and you could actually win some super sweet prizes that they don't let me have, but I would really like to have. But it is what it is. Um, also, guys, make sure to follow us on Twitter, at ESL Mortal Kombat and at NetherRealm. And if you use the hashtag MKXProLeague, we may just read your tweets on this broadcast tonight. Indeed, Brian. Let's go ahead and look at the meat and potatoes, our story of the day. So we have five brand new faces here in top eight of the Pro League. Yep, and three classic players. Yep, and Noble Jupiter, we just saw his uh, awesome little uh, smack, uh, smack talk. Relentless, as well as, I mean, we've seen Beyond Talks in here before. Mm -hmm. And we also have Jago Blake, which I think is a player that has leveled up immensely in the last few months. Oh, absolutely, and definitely a fan favorite. And he's going to be going up against Scar. Yeah, and Scar is returning from season two, making getting second place in the finals. Oh, this bracket is ridiculous. It is, and of course, CR Sonic Fox versus Noble Beyond Toxin. That is a classic match from top eight of last season. Yeah, Toxin not able to take it from Fox, but he's definitely showed a lot of signs of life in that matchup against Fox. Yeah, and we'll have to see if he can do it today. And then Jago Blake versus Scar. I'm really excited to see Jago Blake's Scorpion. He is us using Ninjutsu. I know he also has like a Sonya and other characters, but it's gonna be Scorpion Ninjutsu. Yeah, I, that's the character he's had the most success with. Yeah, and of course, Jupiter versus Relentless, both new to top eight, but Jupiter, arguably one of the best jacks, if not the BS, the, the BS jacks in the world. <laughs> and it's between like him and Tyrant, but two completely different styles and variations. Yeah, and I know you love watching Wrestler. I love watching Wrestler, but again, Tyrant has also placed, they've both placed really strong, but now Jupiter is here and he's gonna bring that wrestling to our top eight. And then we have Zvi versus Vendetta, who is Florida boys, but Zvi is using Devora. But what variation is he using? Broodmother, which is a variation that we have not seen at all in the yes. Pro League. And that should be really interesting because it's gotten some buffs recently, but we just haven't seen too much of it. And we're used to seeing Swarm Queen from, you know, Honeybee. Definitely right now the top Devorah player. Yeah. The, well, the most successful. 
and uh, he does almost, it seems like he mostly uses Swarm Queen, but uh, I'm really yeah. excited to see what Zvi brings to the table today. And that is going to bring us into our first match, which is going to be Beyond Toxin using Spectral mm -hmm. against, oh. I mean, the many characters that Sonic Fox uses. That's true. Now, uh, Spectral did get a buff in yes. the most recent patch, and it's very strong. Now, Toxin's been using Spectral a lot from what I know, but I do know that he's also still using Master of Souls a right. little bit. You know, he did use it to make Top 8 this week, I believe, at least in one of his matches. I think so, but Spectral is so underutilized like no one really has been looking at it aside from big d and toxin but sonic fox i mean yeah he plays a lot of alien but he also plays like everyone else at a high level yeah uh we could see him play any of 20 characters but it's looking like it might be alien he's going for acidic and here we go the very first match of na season three esl oh, mkx pro league let's go and i noticed that he's using the uh, spectral yeah, he is going to uh, go special. The skin, like. did you notice on that spectral? Though? Oh, Crimson Ermac. Crimson. All right, here we go. Can Toxin finally defeat Sonic Fox in top eight? Yeah, uh, like we said, a match that we've seen, um, I believe, three times before in top eights, or maybe just twice, but uh, two totally different characters now. Well, a totally Good different box. character and a new variation. Now he's stuck in the corner against all this acid. Nice armor. From Sonic Fox pushing the pace very early. Oh, and that's going to be damage. so much damage. I anticipate over 20. Oh, and it already is over 20. 23. Oh, wow. wow. What a dominating round. That was almost a flawless. But of course, Alien in Acidic does hurt himself when he uses one of his acid blood. Acid blood, yes. That was actually where most of the damage came from. Oh, no, and the punish. They did also change Alien from when he released. His, his acid can no longer kill. However, if you're standing in the acid blood puddle, that counts as, like, Caltrops, and that can. Mm -hmm. Oh, and a break. breaker. He had to. Oh, that almost reaches full screen. That's one of the buffs that Acidic gets in this variation, is his up three is a full screen, yeah. almost anti-air. And that's going to do it the just about. On the Wait a oh, second. He can't move forward. The chip's going to kill him. Oh, he's oh, levitating. How smart. Oh, <laughs> close. That was one of the only ways that he would have been able to avoid yeah. dying from poison if right he, there. If he, it was close, had he just gotten that hit, mm -hmm. he would have depleted most of Sonic Fox's life. Yeah, yeah. Spectral, uh, for those of you who aren't too familiar, can do a lot of really high damage meterless fly combos. Or you can spend meter to get even more damage. But uh, its pressure and its mix-ups are considerably safer or more plus than the other variations. Now, uh, we'll see if he does decide to switch to Master of Souls or if he's going to stick with Spectral. But I, I really like Spectral. It just didn't seem like he really had a chance to get anything yeah, started. I mean, but that's also classic Sonic Fox. He doesn't really give you a chance to play. But I I feel like, like you were saying, Spectral is a good pick for this matchup. Uh, yeah, it, I mean, it can definitely work. He just needs to take the momentum. And not I'll get hit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, just it's not hard. get hit. <laughs> it's, hard to, it's hard to say that, though. Yeah, no, it definitely is. And uh, Acidic is such a great all-around variation. It's got really good zoning, really good up-close, great mix-ups. Yeah. It's the complete package, if you will. Oh, it goes for the low. It takes the hard knockdown. Oh, here we go. This is Toxin's chance. It's not quite as big as it would have been if it was Master of Souls. That is one of the disadvantages. Oh, oh just throws him in the corner. Great choice. Alien... Especially Acidic Alien, when he gets his opponent in the corner, is so scary yeah. because of that right there, that restand. Now, that restand not only restands the opponent to give you some pressure, it also uh, puts poison on the ground that deals a ton of damage over time. Oh, it just barely missed. Oh, that was a confirm. <laughs> Went right over that down four. Toxin is trying to stay alive here. Playing in the air. Uh, just got to be careful with that armor. Oh, and this and could Sonic almost Fox. be the kill if he spends the meter. Oh, no. Whoa. You see, now, Sonic Fox could have actually spent the meter right there to use the EX restand, which is more plus and leaves more yes. acid, and he could have just gotten for the chip kill, but... He decided not to. Uh, yeah, and that could have been a big mistake. Ooh, that was interesting. He decided to switch sides. Now, any time that you hit a juggled opponent with his charge in Spectral, you can actually do that side switch. Oh, overhead to overhead. Sonic Fox mixing it up from the lows. Oh, interesting cross-up there. Toxin jumping himself in the corner there. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, and this That's is going to be it. it. That round, so much damage from Acidic. Yeah, and so much of the damage is damage that you don't even get to see. It isn't, doesn't show up on the combo counter. Right. It's just over time. 
A lot of respect for both players, though, in the neutral here. And, and just wakes up with it over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, drops oh, the drops combo. It. Oh, and that's going to give Sonic Fox an opportunity to do a lot of damage. Look at this. It's going to be over half of his life. Burns Bar to get out of that acid, and that's huge because he was going to stack up all that damage. Ooh, doesn't connect, but Again, this should be the Again, with these kill. armored overheads, they're catching Toxin off guard. And uh, interestingly enough, did get, go for the restand there, but didn't go for the brutality. Yeah. I figured that was why he was doing that. But. That's what I thought as well. So now two games down, Toxin. I think he should. It's it's hard to say what even could do because he's not playing poorly. Unfortunately, once he gets put in the corner situation, he's just getting dominated because of all that stack damage. Yeah, uh, maybe he could switch to Mystic, which is another variation that was buffed. It did get some really strong uh, get off me tools. Good right, and push. definitely better zoning tools. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, MKX not like a crazy zoning game, but still, the ability to control that much space is going to help him because Sonic Fox is smothering him right now. Yeah, that's a that's a great way to put it. I mean, once he gets in that corner, I don't believe he's won a single game. Ooh, and it, all right, switching his skin up. Maybe that was uh Yeah, I mean, hey, that's the most that's important thing, thing is your skin. That's, that's <laughs> legitimately a thing, though. No, I mean, yeah, it is. I mean, there's moral reasons, and I don't know. Sometimes, if you've practiced a lot with one skin, honestly, you can not register it's, when something hits with a, another skin. It's a mental thing. Yeah. Ooh, but a, a good early start, and just placing the poison below him. Now, if that projectile does whiff, it does leave an acid puddle on the ground that does a little bit of damage, but it's damage regardless. Okay, here we go. Nice flight cancels here from Toxin. Ooh, they're the mix-ups we need to see. Here we go. Very nice. Really getting something in. Oh, nice. Avoids the armored overhead. Wake up. Oh, no. Oh. There we go. Okay, nice. Very nice. Actually just woke up with it, and I believe it went over the tail. Now, that is a great move because it is a nine-frame fast advancing mid. Yes. So it can punish a lot of things that Ermac normally oh, can't punish. Oh, that was weird. The tail <laughs> catching him on that flip. Oh, again? Again. Wow. Toxin, he's making the right read to get away from it, but it's still catching him off guard. Oh, and he's sitting in the corner. Just gets out of it with that throw. Luckily, Ermac's throw puts him in the air. Yeah. Or he would have been taking a lot of damage. That The acid from that restand move does so much damage. Honestly, Toxin is literally... He's getting hit by every single wake-up. Yeah, uh, he just needs to bait a few of those. But it is it is honestly hard. Alien does have some of the most varied armor in the game. Right, he can also wake launcher. up with a low. Yeah, and a low armor. Yeah. And just normal armor. I mean, he's, he's got great options. You can see Toxin now being very cautious, but here we go. Big combo. Very nice, 36%. Oh, oh and this beautiful is gonna be... confirm. Oh, he could have gotten more. I think that was a mistake. Wow, there was a lot of chip damage just from that Toxin's move. He's got to be careful here. Oh, no. Oh, the restand. But like I said, Sonic Fox will hurt himself a little bit with that restand. Just the percent, but that could be the percent that he, he needs. He's trying to cancel the Soul Blast. Oh, oh Sonic Fox, you scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> Very, very well played, though, from Fox at the end. Toxin was so close to finally closing out a game for himself. But just... Yeah, I mean, that's Fox all it takes. Fox was just relentless. Yeah, just a few opportunities, and Acidic Alien will take half of your life in each of them and just keep you in that corner, and yeah. uh, that was the issue. Uh, maybe we could have seen a few more corner interactables from Toxin, but... Again, it was just every time... Sonic Fox got knocked down. He immediately woke up, and I want to say all but one of those was blocked or even gotten away from. He, he didn't even escape. Yeah, he tried to jump over a few too many of them, but that hitbox on that tail is huge. Yep, so Sonic Fox is going to move on in the first week here, and Toxin's still getting some points. Yep, and there we go, right in the corner. Uh, that's just where he lost this entire set. I mean... Mid screen, he stood a chance. Yeah, Horner was just. Look at this damage 23% for a grab. And he's still in the corner. Yep, just and again, sitting there. You know, mixing it up with the low tail, the down four into the overhead was also very smart. But look at that damage. So 29% into a 23% grab. <laughs> I don't do math very well, but you Way can do Way over math. half your life. Yeah, so. Is the answer. I mean, but Toxin was able to get something really solid started here. Dropping that combo was also huge. There was, and that wasn't the only one. Toxin unfortunately dropped a few other combos throughout the set that he probably could have closed it out, like this one right here. That was actually the round had he finished that combo. Yeah, and but the the comeback happened. I mean, there you go. 
uh, what can you do? But uh, Spectral is a pretty tough execution character, and I'm really glad to see Beyond Toxin using it and mm -hmm. just to see what he can come up with because I think it's one of the coolest to watch in the game. It definitely, it's the most entertaining, and it's the, the, the combos are very unique. And dare I use the word swag. I, I tried not to, but definitely swag combos. You can use that word if you'd like. I'd rather not, but <laughs> right. unfortunately I had to. And that's going to lead us into our next match coming up, which is going to be Jago Blake, Yomi's RM, Yomi, Jago Blake versus Ultra Arcade Scar. Now, of course, Scar, one of the most successful players over the past few months, second place at season finals. So everybody pretty much knows him. One uh, of the very few players to beat Sonic Fox. That's true. And Sar Scar actually did beat Sonic Fox in our Challenger Cup this weekend. Yeah. To uh, He was first place and Sonic Fox was second place. So uh, I don't know how that matchup went. I don't know what the characters were. I'm it was guessing all off stream. from Scar, it was most likely Demolition. Possibly, but we actually haven't seen too much of Scar since Demolition got nerfed. That is also true. Yeah, so uh, I'm excited to see that. But also, his opponent, Jago Blake, one of the fan favorites. Everybody likes him. Uh, well, mostly everybody likes him, as far as I know. <laughs> wow. I mean, I don't know. I, that was I, it was presumptuous. <laughs> it was. It was. But like I said, I caught up a little bit with Jake after not uh, seeing him for a while. And he was playing ninjutsu. And I got to say, this kid has leveled up so much ever since he's been with the Yomi crew. And his spacing with Ninjutsu, who's already a very spacing-heavy character and gives yeah. you really great tools and options at that mid-range in the neutral, was impeccably good. Yeah, I mean, that is the spacing character. I mean, yeah. he plays neutral very well. He baits a lot of stuff with backdashes and just... Just spacing in general, and uh, I mean, that it fits him really well, and I'm really glad to see that because he is somewhat of a Scorpion loyalist. He loves Scorpion right. as a character. He has since I've known him back in MK9 days. Yeah. We've known him for years. Yeah. So I'm, I'm glad to see him get a lot of success recently, and I hope he does really well in the Pro League. Uh, he's get his chance today. Well, Jago Blake, again, I'm so... I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see him in this top eight as well because, again, we are now on PS4. Other players are getting their chance, and it's going to be incredible. Yeah, uh, we've got, I mean, the new net code, and on the new net code with MKXL, with Combat Pack 2, there is a lot of money to win. Yep, so here is, of course, the points and prizes breakdown. First place is going to be $500 with 100 points. Second place, $300 with 75 points. Third and fourth, respectively, $100 with 50 points. And then fifth through eighth are going to grab you 25 points. And even if you aren't making top eight, you're still nabbing points in the, t in the 16th spot, which is 10 points. And, I mean, we saw that kind of last season with Pig where he had made quite a few top 16 couple top eight appearances but he was still able to grab that spot so that he could qualify and he ended up getting up quite higher in the seat yeah and remember every single point counts i mean last season of our top 16 we had maybe five or six people within 10 points of the last qualifying spot so of course again uh, i believe we have seven spots for na going to points and right. then one from combo breaker Ooh, we uh we have an offline uh, qualifying event. We do. Finally, I'm excited. And uh, Combo Breaker is a game, there's a, an event that is just so loved by the community. Yes. So. I, I went last year and it was 100% amazing. All right, and here we go. All right, Blake versus Scar. Blake, there we go, going with his signature ninjutsu. Of course, this variation got buffed recently, which is uh, yes. part of why. Yes, it did. <laughs> yes, <laughs> quite a bit, quite a bit. But uh, it's one of the reasons why Blake has given, uh, gotten a lot more success. And ooh, it looks like we're going to have Covert off Sonya from Scar. All right. So switching off of Demolition to Covert Ops. The, the thing about Sonya, though, is all her variations are really strong. Yeah, definitely. And each one is, has a spot in different matchups. All so, right, here we go. Wow, ooh. Scar just running up with a jab. <laughs> that was oh, no, he is using Demolition. Oh, oh he is you using are a Filthy oh, you, liar. No, no, uh, I'm 100% sure that I saw the the indicator. So maybe he did hit and select. It's, it's, possible. it's quite possible. I'm 100% sure I saw the I COVID can tell you, indicator. though, those are grenades on her thighs. Yes, I can agree with you. That is definitely de eh, definitely <laughs> demolition. <laughs> oh, here we go. All right, hard knockdown gets the reload. Wow, that was a very ballsy wake-up grab, but I like it. 
Good block, another grab. You know how I like my grabs. <laughs> no, and that is one thing about Blake. Blake is an extremely oh, patient beautiful player. beautiful punish. And also his reactions are great. Uh, we've seen him a lot react oh, to no. any projectile with those teleports. Yep, and that's going to do it for the first round. Goes to Scar, but Blake, I like what I see so far. Yeah, it was definitely close. And uh, it looks like Scar hasn't skipped a beat uh, from the changes. Oh, nice confirm on the jump kick into teleport. Here we go. That's the mix up. All right, just uh, taking a little bit of chip and then respecting Scar. Now, one of the biggest difficulties of this matchup is that oh, Scorpion... That, oh, kick. that was greatly spaced. But yeah, one of the biggest difficulties of this matchup is the fact that Scorpion has not the best options on knockdown. He's got one... Oh, there it is, the reset of the oh. grenades. It's still in there. Nice blocks from Blake. Here we go. Nice counter poke. Oh, no, I needed punish. to confirm off of that so badly, though. Ooh, just throws him back in the corner. This is going to be tough. Full grenades here. Oh, I was going to say he jumps out to escape the corner maybe for the next round, but that's going to be it for Scar. Ooh, and immediately with the stage fatality, one of the best in the game. My favorite, actually. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I'd have to agree. Ooh. He's now food for the fishes. He's not. Well, no. <laughs> what? He literally is. What? There's fish down there. It's the ocean. I don't see a single fish. Because they're scared of the Kraken or, or right. whatever he is. The, the tentacle monster. But uh, anyway, Blake looked a little... I mean, he was looking really solid in that first round. Second round, not quite as much, but... I mean, he had that beautiful presence of mind to jab out of the pressure right when Scar jumped and almost confirmed that combo, which would have been huge because that would have led to another mix-up. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, dropping it... Scar was able to steal it. Yeah, and I mean, that damage from Demolition is still pretty high meterless. So, I mean, he's still got the combos down. He's got the new, uh, new more optimized ones. Uh, looks like, yep, we're going to stick with Ninjutsu for Blake. I don't think he's going to switch off, to be completely honest. Uh, yeah, I don't think that would be a good choice anyway. He, Like I said, he is most successful with this character, and he's just kind of known for it. He's sort of the Ninjutsu Scorpion right now. A lot of patience here from Blake. I like this. Oh, wow. He just catches him raw with that NJP. That hit so far away. <laughs> yeah. And that's something else that I, I believe that Scar oh, just wasn't ready by the that. overhead. And that's the mix-up. He can do the overhead, and he can either go into a takedown, or he can let the second hit of it rock, and it just is an overhead, which yep. is a recent buff. Yeah, that is the mix-up. And I mean, even if you're just not ready for him to throw the overhead, you can still get hit by the second hit, because it does come out relatively fast. Yeah. Oh, wow. Ooh, and doesn't get the full conversion. Scar still able to make something happen for himself, keeping the momentum. Oh, no anti-air. That was a mistake there, I'm sure. And Blake breaks. I like that decision. He still has the life lead. With Good no anti-air. Nice counter pokes. Still blocks the grenade. Oh, that oh. spacing of the dive kick, Scar! That was a perfect whiff punish. I, I can guarantee that he anticipated that forward That was... Such a good read. It was, and now that we're seeing Scar anticipate those four twos a little bit more, I would like to see Blake try some back twos. I mean, back two is a launcher, and it does have a little bit more range than forward two, or yes. actually quite a bit more range. So uh, if, I mean, it, it can work as a mix-up. Scar just getting a free NJP here. And there's that back two right there. So that was a trade, not too bad for either player. Nice block and a nice punish. Here we go. Immediate breaker from Scar doesn't want to get any of that momentum started. Yep, and of course, Demolition Sonya not using meter for almost anything. Nice so grab. you can keep a lot for X-Ray yeah. or Breaker. Late jump kick making that pretty positive for himself here. And again, another nice grab. Jago Blake is trying to steal this game away. Here we go. Oh, and he just lets her jump right out. Unfortunately, he only had one grenade, so the damage oh, wasn't neutral. too high. Neutral teleport. I love that. Great decision from Jago Blake. And another great decision there, just ending with teleport to make sure that he switches right. out. Right. That was so smart because on wake up, most of the time when you see a scorpion teleport, it's it's a meter burn. He's going to just let it rock hoping to hit. Yep. But he had the presence of mind to make it neutral. Great stuff from Blake. Oh, I like what he tried. I, I like the idea of it, but... Yeah, he didn't quite make it far, uh, far enough forward. Now, that move actually did get changed a little bit, so I'm not 100% sure if Blake is used to that. 
It explodes slightly differently, so you gotta get used Blake to it. still is in a good position. Oh, he went for the meter for teleport. Oh, here we go. Punishes the drone call. That was a great punish. Oh, he gets one more mix up. And he has the meter advantage as well on Scar. This could be Blake's game, but wait a second. Burning the meter. One more hit from either player should do oh. it. Nope, this isn't gonna kill, but it's gonna be very close. Oh no! The respect! Nice blocks! Oh, incredible blocks! Blake, his patience is ridiculous, but wait, oh. Scar! That should be it. No! <laughs> that was Blake's game! Blake had such incredible defense right there. I mean, his blocking was perfect. He blocked the overhead, the low, the low he again. He blocked everything, literally everything, up until that very last overhead. Yep, and but that was all it took. I mean, that was very, very smart by Scar to only use one grenade per situation. I yeah. mean, he, he was like, one grenade, wait, one more grenade, wait, one more grenade, wait. He even did something tricky we haven't seen him do. He used the drone, or he got all three grenades out at once, and then he tried to do like a cross-up or a crossover jump punch. And Blake still blocked that. Yeah, yeah, no, super, super good defense by Blake. But uh, Scar still taking it with that relentless pressure. I mean, his timing is so good on all of his setups. His, his mix-ups, obviously, I mean, they're they're pretty frame tight. So again, going back in with Ninjutsu. Now he's gonna have to win 3-0 with Ninjutsu now. He's not gonna get another chance to switch. I, I mean, it's it's definitely possible. It's in the realm of possibility for, for uh, Blake. It is, and oh, again. Uh, that jump back dive kick has just been the perfect answer for the forward two. Oh, and he tried to jump out, but Scar getting rid of that grenade early for the hit. But here we go. Blake once again with a chance. And honestly, that's really all Scorpion needs sometimes is just one chance. Yep. I mean, Scorpion doesn't have the best mix-ups in the game, which is kind of weird because he's known as a mix-up character. But uh, regardless, he can still take momentum and yeah. use it very well. All right, breaks off the bat. Again, reactions with that teleport to punish the drone. And uh, oh, wow, Scar just got hit. Yeah, uh, sometimes it just happens. You try to disrespect. And another thing is that Blake is a player who loves to throw all the time. Yes. So one of his main mix-ups is just throw or that's not why throw. I love, that's why I love watching Jake play. <laughs> or excuse me, Jake. <laughs> Jago Blake play. My goodness. Jaco Blake. <laughs> there you go. I, oh, nice punish and a break immediately. Scar is one round away from taking this. Oh, and he just lets it rock. But again, the defense from Blake. And the confirm, beautiful. That should be it. Nice. Again, perfectly knowing how much damage he had left. He even so he paused, if you notice that, for yep. a second. He's like, should I? Yeah, I should. I should yeah. teleport, yeah. <laughs> he's like, do I need two in a teleport or two one in a teleport? No, I'll figure it out. Good stuff. Oh, like, nice use of armor. Blake is on point with punishing that. Yeah, I mean, he used the delayed wake up really well in that situation, too. Oh, beautiful backdash. The spacing. So crisp. It is. I mean, that's what he's known for. Nice, NJP. This is very dangerous because Blake is now starting to get momentum, and he's starting at the reads, and as soon as I say that, <laughs> Scar gets a dive kick into a combo. Wow, just a, a raw grenade. Interesting. And it was an explosion grenade, too. That may have been a mistake. This is huge. Scar is about to take this game. Blake just now getting his second bar, and he can't break this. Or he's not going to be able to oh, no! off that anymore. Oh, One hit left. Chip life. No! Oh. Don't break my heart. <laughs> but that was an incredible comeback by Scar. I mean, that was almost 80%. Oh! oh. No, I actually oh. don't think that was a legitimate teabag. I think he was just going for the stage. Maybe. Maybe. It's possible. We'll, yeah, I don't uh, know. We may never know. We may never know indeed. Blake, so very close. Congratulations on making your first top eight. I can tell you right now that probably won't be his last. Yeah. And you could, I, I don't know, you could just really see uh, Jago Blake starting to adapt like later in the rounds. Unfortunately, he just wasn't able to close it out. But Scar is a great player, so, I mean, there's no shame in losing to Scar at all. At but, all. I mean, just losing in general. I know I know how fierce of a competitor Blake is, and I'm sure he's upset, but he's got to bounce back. Those, oh, my goodness. That right, that right there was one of his best moments as far as patience yep. goes. And, like I said, patience for Blake. Uh, but Scar, 
his, regardless. His patience is obnoxious if you play him. Like, it yeah. really is. He's just not afraid to sit there, block everything that you're throwing at him, and then punish you. Even against a mix-up character like Sonya. Yeah, right. but that, oh. the spacing on that dive kick was stellar. I feel like those reads may have been some of the main factors for Scar's win right there. Right here. Here we go again. Goes. That was so <laughs> solid. But I mean, to be fair, Blake also had really good reads with his back, his back dash, and his then his back two. Yeah. Uh, I mean, back two is what he he should have switched it up a little bit more though. I think a few more back yeah. twos would have done well for him. Also, something we didn't see once from Blake was four two into takedown. That's true. He didn't go for the mix up at all. He just wanted to stay safe, yeah. take his little a uh, little bit of chip, and just condition. But it would have been nice to see a little bit more risk from Blake. But yeah. also, he did lose to risk at the end. But also, that you have to understand, that's not really Blake's play style. Like, he's not going to just take errant risks for no reason. And that's why he's so solid, because he just plays fundamentally sound. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he even when he hits you with the, uh, the sort of vortex setup, yeah. he doesn't go for any crazy mix-ups. He usually throw or normal or just like a, a weak low or just a, a normal overhead. Like, nothing big at all but i mean that's his play style but man scar scar so that's good. gonna set us up for sonic fox versus scar oh coming up in the semis the rematch yeah. the rematch of so many times now kit i mean uh, it's weekend just tournament. endless uh let's see here i also want to just point out one thing jupiter, jupiter is in this bracket that's true i feel like if anybody could dethrone scar and Sonic Fox today could be Jupiter. He's just so chillax. <laughs> <laughs> the whole Where's Lance thing. That was uh so I'm I'm just gonna go and explain this just for a quick second. If you guys have never met Jupiter at a major, he always travels with his brother Lance. And for some reason, Jupiter sound like Matt sounds like he's from SoCal or he's a surfer boy. And he's like, <laughs> Hey, where's Lance? Like, have you seen my brother Lance? And Dab by far does the best Jupiter impression, but that's also not the reason I like him. It's because of Jax, and I strongly still believe that Wrestler is the best variation, but his opponent is Relentless. going to be Relentless, and I believe we have an interview lined up with Relentless right now with Brian. How's it going, guys? We are joined here by Christian Smith, a.k.a. C88 Relentless, making his debut in the top eight of the Pro League, so definitely congratulations to you, Christian. Thank you um, so much. Yeah, happy to have you for sure, man. Um, we had a chance to talk a little bit earlier, and you are actually, you are 17 years old, and you, yep. are, you are currently balancing, uh, let's see, you have work, you have school, and of course, you're trying to play competitively in the Pro League. So, like, how yeah. challenging is that, man? Uh, it's tough, especially because, you know, to me, junior year is the hardest year, so getting all my schoolwork done and balancing that with work and then trying to level up is definitely tough, so. Uh, yeah, the time I get to play is... Uh, when I do, so. Yeah, junior year definitely is the toughest. Senior year is free. You could coast, so you probably already know, though, but. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that sounds tough, man. But also, too, I know you're from uh, Casa Grande, Arizona, and yep. from, from what we talked about earlier, there's, there's basically no scene out there for you. So you're essentially self-taught. Um, yep. Is there a part of you that, that wishes you had a scene, or do you, do you kind of feel, do you, do you, like, enjoy being the lone wolf? Um, I enjoy being the lone wolf only because, um, you know, I get to show up more. Nobody really knows anybody from Casa Grande, so. Uh, but it is, it would be nice to, you know, be able to play with people here and there. And that's why I joined C88, so I could get some games into people online and stuff. But as far as right now goes, there's no offline scene here, so. Yeah. Yeah, you just do what you got to do. At least the uh, netcode got the little upgrade. I'm sure that's nice. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> well, <laughs> again, man, uh, to get to this point today, you had to beat some really solid players. You beat uh, Critical Reactions Gun Show. We've seen him before, phenomenal player. And, yep. uh, of course, my boy... Uh, STB Shujinki Dink, who um, <laughs> he's a he's a he's a veteran, really solid player. Uh, but next up, you have uh, Nobles Jupiter. Do um, you, you feel ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, I've been studying the Jacks matchup for a while, like I said, and uh, I'm just looking to play my game here. So, see how I do. Awesome, man. Well, thanks again for uh, taking some time out for us. Uh, stay tuned for that uh, lobby invite, and good luck, man. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. No problem. All right, so let's see if he can deal with um, 
Jupiter getting handsy with that wrestler checks. <laughs> Sounds like a nice guy. Uh, yeah, he really Relentless does. was really excited this week, I think, to top eight from everything that I heard. So I hope he goes far. But again, that you know, that's the beautiful thing about the Pro League is we, we give those players an opportunity who, like he said, he has absolutely no scene around him. He only gets to play online and... Thankfully, the online now is incredible. Oh, it's so he so good. he gets that opportunity to play, and now he's technically on a big stage, and he's competing for the biggest opportunity of his life. Yeah, I mean, I'll, and a lot of money too. But I mean, just I'm I'm glad that we get to showcase players like this. Uh, another one that we saw was Toxin. Toxin's yeah, another person. Beyond Toxin was someone I remember. Um, he came on my stream once, and I held like a little. You know, tournament. He beat me, and I was like, I don't want to pay this guy. I don't even know who this guy is. Like, this is like a small little fifty dollars tournament. But sure enough, now you know, he being Big D's um, protege, and then kind of making it on his own, and now being sponsored by Noble with the likes of Jupiter and Dab, like that's huge. It, it is, and I'm glad to see success. But also, you did just tell the entire stream chat how cheap you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was only fifty bucks. That's all. I, that's all I had to give. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so here <laughs> we go. Relentless versus Jupiter. I'm rooting for Jupiter. I'm going to be biased. I think Jupiter is awesome. He's one of my favorite people to hang out with. That's uh, that's how I feel. Yeah, oh, Jupiter, so not today. just known for this game, but in Justice, oh, no. he was oh, one of the dude. best Martians. The I think he was the best Martian, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's quite possible. Oh, starting time. off with a knee. Here we go. I, oh, I'm watching Wrestler. <laughs> you have no idea how excited I am. Now, Jupiter has also been a fan favorite. Everybody likes watching this Jax, and he's pulled a lot of upsets in a lot of offline tournaments. Yes, he has. But Shaolin, Relentless playing Shaolin. Nice armor to get through that drop kick. Very nice. Yeah, that shows that he knows the matchup. Dropping a combo there, but not huge. Is Jupiter still in this match? Oh, here we go. Oh, he actually could have got the kill there, but instead just goes for the dash punch. Much easier to land and uh, still closes it out. Round two, fight. Now, this is an interesting zoning game between these two characters. Oh, the armor tech! Wow, he's gonna get the full combo, too. That uh, was a little bit late of a break. Not sure if that was worth the meeting. Nice confirm off of the jab and tier. I, almost, I was about to say Jupiter's relentless, but that's really confusing. <laughs> nice blocks. Ooh, and he tried for the jab yeah, there. Yeah, again, leaving that neutral so he can get something afterwards, but Jupiter is ready for it. Oh, now one, that would have been a tick throw, yeah. even on block. One, two, four into command grab is such a strong tool. And oh my goodness, <laughs> Jupiter. Yeah, and there was actually no way, as far as I know, that he could have gotten oh, out of that down three work. into the knee. No, well, actually, he could have backdashed, I guess. But uh, if he had tried to armor out, it would have hit him. Yeah. So uh, a quick first game, Jupiter. But I mean, that is Jax in a nutshell. Yeah. Pressure that you cannot get out of, especially when it's Wrestler. Yeah, because when you have Wrestler, you, so you take all of Jax's already great tools, all of his already great mix-ups, and then you add in a command grab just for fun. Mm -hmm. It just creates this whole new bag of a mess that you don't want to deal with. Yep, and the thing that people don't really look at is the command grab isn't just good as a command grab no, as a mix-up. it's mix -up. a threat. Well, it's the threat, but also it is another option on his wake up, which he already has great options on wake up because he can EX to give it armor. Yep. Also, it's a great mid-screen combo ender and corner combo ender because it gives you a good knockdown. And just in case he's comboing you from the corner, he can choose to switch what side that you're on. That's true too, yeah. Uh, Why so is Wrestler so good? <laughs> it is good. And we also did get to see a buff to command grabs, a global buff to yes. command grabs in the last patch where EX command grabs will combo ungrounded opponents. So there are a lot of tick throw situations where he can actually combo if it does hit. And uh, Jupiter, actually, one of the only players, uh, maybe the only player to, in tournament, on stream, pull off. Oh my goodness, the ragdoll brutality. Yep. Of course, you have to get all of the hits of his multi-slam command grab, which is very, very hard to time. And you have to do it as a killing blow. Yeah. I'm going to be real. Jupiter, if you can land it in, in this tournament, I will pay you. You'll, you'll give him I will the money that you should have given to Toxin all that yes, time ago. Yes, yes. <laughs> They're teammates. It'll work Look out. Look at this pressure. Ooh, tried to anti that, but Kung Jin's jumping one. Yep, here we so go. hard to aim. Relentless finally with a little bit of a chance to get some momentum going. Oh, and Jax just doesn't care. Again, trying to armor just to get 
Jacks off a beautiful end here, and here we go. Who just went for the down two? Relentless, getting himself around. Already? Round two. Fight. Ooh, they both just ran up to each other point blank at the start of that round. Yeah. No, they didn't even hit stopped, each other. Yeah. That projectile was so plus on hit. I'm playing the zoning game. Now, both of these characters actually have high damage projectiles that recover relatively fast. Yeah. Oh, good patience from Relentless, but still getting tagged. Jax has really, really fast buttons. And there's the tick throw and, and armor. Again. Another now, armor. Now, Jupiter is using so much meter, but Jax is a character that can afford to use that yeah. much meter. I mean, look at him. He's still at almost two bars, and he used three to four bars just within that last nice round of And a beautiful punish. But you are right. But of course, that's another scary thing about Jax is he's got quick mid, or sorry, quick high safe armor. He's got an overhead combo starting armor. He's got an armor command grab. Uh, he's got safe <laughs> forward advancing mid, uh, high armor. Armor. Uh, yeah, armor. Yeah, I mean, he, <laughs> he has one of the best armor games in the game. Oh, there we go, getting caught just on wake up. Now Relentless is trying to push the pace to Jupiter. Nice down one. It's an armored overhead, wait a second, and there it is. Relentless now taking a game. Yeah, well, uh, relatively one-sided that very last round. That was yeah. interesting. But uh, again, Shaolin, definitely a character that we've Pay seen be, I don't know how to put it, their, their public opinion has been higher and higher and higher. Right. Uh, especially with Slayer playing him a lot Slayer. and Gun Show from mm -hmm. last season. Uh, we've just seen a lot of Shaolin popularity, and he's one of the strongest, most solid characters in the game. Yeah, and Slayer yes. definitely putting in work with that character, being the highest placing Shaolin. Yeah. yeah. And of course, Shaolin's variation gimmick is that he's got a the disc which gives him some better normals gives him he actually uh it gives him some zoning some really strong zoning and he can break quite a few armors with that as well he can but actually honestly <laughs> the most important thing about this variation is probably not even the disc related the, at all the it's, drop. The, it's the up kick yeah, yeah up kick, kick in the drop it does a ton of chip it's safe on block potentially and there's sort of a mix-up game yeah oh, nice. i like i like the little Little spacing shimmy there. Yep, but now every time that he does that EX uh, throw where it comes back to him, there's a gap before it hits you on the way yep. back, and Jupiter can get a lot of damage by armoring in between that. Down four into, into Gotcha. It's such a good tool to space out as well, and wow, Jupiter is answering back. Round two. Fight. Now, both of these characters have great armor and great offense and great zoning. They're two very good all around. So, uh, honestly, this could go, it, it all depends really on how the, they want to play it themselves. Yeah. Oh, nice. That would have been a lot of damage. Oh, Jupiter break. going for a dash punch. We get to anti aired by 1-1. One, one. Good patience, but still, Jupiter is, I can't say Jupiter's being relentless. It's so <laughs> confusing. The hard knockdown. Ooh, just baits the armor. Now, we've seen a lot of armor baits from Relentless, so I yeah. would like to see Jupiter use armor command grab. And that's going to do it right there. But I like the way that Relentless was trying to stop Jupiter's aggression. Yeah. Throwing in pokes, unfortunately, the armor just was negating all of that from Relentless. Yeah, yeah, the armor and the fact that he was able to break in a few a key moments. Game. So there's that meter gain. I mean, that's one of the biggest things you need to look at in characters in this game is meter gain. Jax is no slouch. Oh, no, definitely no slouch. He's got little meter batteries on his arms. Relentless might switch characters. I, I do know he plays a few other characters. Ooh, Takeda, that could be tough if he gets in that pressure. What variation, though? Probably the going back to my main variation. <laughs> That's a solid variation. <laughs> oh, but he's going to be a little sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky thief. <laughs> He, maybe he'll, he'll blend in. into the background. Yeah. Well, that's what he is, man. It was when he was in, a, ninja, in story man. mode when he was... No, he's a thief. He's a ninja yeah. thief. It's very specifically a thief. It's a ninja thief. If you're going to be a thief, you have to be stealthy, right? I guess so. Right, so what are ninjas technically? They're stealthy. I mean, that's I'm one of them. Here. Just let me have it. Man. All right, you can have it, man. Whoa, weird trade. He did the wake up uh, flying kick and they traded with a jab or something right there. Ooh, that was an accident for sure. 
Nice, just mixes it up now with a regular grab. All right, now the reason he's using that projectile oh, is goodness. super plus on block. block. Now, it's somewhat of a mix-up because if you're blocking, it'll hit you. But if you neutral duck, you can actually duck it yep. and punish it. Another layer onto his mind games. Jupiter, Jupiter's, his choice in the buttons and the way that he's using Gotcha is so smart. Yeah, I mean, Gotcha's one of the, it, it's an extremely good tool. I yes. mean, it's super fast. It actually jails from his down three, believe it or not. There's no gap in between down three Gotcha. Well, that was an interesting use of armor there for that overhead dash punch, because the combo was pretty much over at that point. Yeah, maybe it was a mistake. Potentially. Because he has been ending his combos in the corner with overhead dash punch. Yeah, that's which is an interesting choice, because yeah. Jax does have a lot of hard knockdowns, yeah. but uh, he likes something about that timing. Oh. oh! Oh, nice block! That was a really good presence of mind from Jupiter there. That was. Good decision just to sit there and block once it, uh, he landed. Oh. But uh, Jupiter, you know, I would say a lot of the rounds were rather convincing, but I think Relentless put up a really good fight. It I think he did too. It's just, again, the problem is if you're not used to, to facing a Jax like Jupiter or even Tyrant or just aggression all the time, there's mm -hmm. no off switch for those players. Or even if you are used to it. Really. Yeah, even if you are used to it, it's still really tough. Jax is, is definitely one of those characters that you can train for all you want, but once you get in the realm of actually playing against it in tournament, it's it's suffocating. It is. And... Yeah, just those mix-ups, you're just like, I don't I don't even know what to do anymore. Do I block? Do I not block? But uh, yeah, he, he did really well, yeah. and I'm glad to see him make his first top eight. I hope to see him back again. He seemed like a generally nice guy. Yeah, Relentless, uh, he played really well, too. The thing that was really evident as to Jupiter's own matchup knowledge, because we know Relentless had trained for it, was that he wasn't letting any of the up kicks right there. That's exactly what I'm talking about. He never let that pressure get to him because he always had an answer with armor. Yeah, and... Well, the mix-up of that is that if you don't delay the downward part, there's no gap in between, but it's punishable. Right. But if you do delay it, it's not punishable, but there's a gap before it. So yeah, it's he was ready for that by 100% every single time. Yeah, and once you shut down that aspect of Shaolin's game, it's much, much harder for him. But again, Relentless, like, right here, getting a nice combo for himself, and he was actively trying to stop the pressure. I mean, he wasn't just, you know, he wasn't just a punching bag. Oh, no, definitely. But, I mean, sometimes you just have to be a punching bag against Yeah, Jax. against Jax. It's tough. That was such a good block, too, by the way, from Jupiter. It was. Good presence of mind. Definitely knows the matchup. Yep. At least somewhat. So, next up, we are going to have EVB Vendetta. Hmm. And he is going to be playing someone that I'm excited, Zvi, who is a broodmother main. Yeah, and we almost never see broodmother no. at all. Broodmother Devora. Of course, that's the variation where she gets to drop her little crawling buddy on the floor. <laughs> I don't yeah, know what to the, call it. Yeah, the little crawler, the creepy crawler. The thing is, is I've seen some of Zvi's play, and Broodmother looks so strong. I mean, especially in the corner, that that variation has a lot of armor-breaking capabilities. <laughs> yeah, definitely. A lot of really good armor-breaking capabilities. And then she always has that back one into meter burn, which is even more plus on block with, with her creepy crawly. Yeah, and it's a variation that got a few buffs a little bit ago, but we haven't seen too many people represent her. So I'm excited to see what Zvi's going to do. But of course, their opponent is EVB Vendetta. And EVB coming from Florida, the Florida boys, shout outs to them, KP, as well as Newbie, and Big D. Yeah, I mean, Toxin at a, at a point beyond Toxin. Yep. Uh, we've seen Florida just be more and more successful over time. Yes. One yes, of the fastest have. growing scenes. But I mean, we've got a lot of big names from Florida. Vendetta, one of the more up-and-comers. I, I would say that uh, of all the Floridians, I believe Floridians. that's the term, Floridians. Yeah, there you go. You almost had it. Yeah. Uh, I think he may have been one of the, the few that you would have expected. People would have generally expected at least to make top eight, but he has shown a lot of really good results recently. Yeah. He uh, is a A-list main, as far as I know. And he's playing Cage, which is a character that I think we kind of need to talk about for a second, <laughs> because Cage is... Cage is one of those, you know, run cancel characters. Devora has a variation of that as well in Swarm Queen, but the way Cage does it is he can confirm off of almost every single stray hit. His pressure is in it's incredible and he's one of the he's the only run cancel character that actually can cancel twice in a combo. Yes. And he can 
whiff cancel. So if he whiffs a normal, he can actually run cancel that. So it's like, oh, I whiffed my forward three knee. Just kidding. I'm going I, under you now. Yeah. yeah, and his pressure is so good. And his zoning is so underrated. Cage can zone. He can seriously zone. Yeah, he's got a great arcing fireball that does 8%, which is generally the max amount of damage that normal projectiles right. do in the game. But he's just so strong. And here we go. It's going to be Zvi versus EVB Vendetta. We just saw uh, a cage tear through the European Pro League. Yeah, uh, that was that was interesting to see. Actually, this is one of the first times that we've seen Johnny in either of the leagues. Yeah, we haven't. Uh, this week. It hasn't really been too prevalent in the last couple Pro League seasons, but I think I think EU and CIS was littered with cages. Uh, that, yeah, that's true. CIS definitely had uh, had some going on. All right, now we've got Zve, Zvi, sorry, using Broodmother, like we said, and Vendetta using A-List. All right, pushing Vendetta to the corner. Jumps Ooh, out. Nice anti -air that was great, one. though. He knew that just how to anti-air that if uh, Vendetta decided to jump out. There's a lot of Z and V sounds within these, both yeah. of these names. Working with the last uh, part oh, of the alphabet here. We here. Go. Oh, drops, drops the run cancel. cancel. Oh, it's early for the grab, now giving Zwei another chance. Well, when Cage has you in the corner, this is the most dangerous situation. Does use that meter. Now, uh, meter is pretty important to Again. Broodmother. Oh, no, doesn't complete the overhead. And this could be it. Oh, nice back dash out. Yep. Good. Oh, it just uses the spines. Very nice. And uh, in the most recent patch, that did get buffed a little bit, uh, or one of the most recent patches. Yes. Her armor got sped up quite considerably, but it is still very unsafe. Actually, more unsafe. Yep. And right into a nut punch. This is why Cage is so dangerous. He leaves you in a situation where you have to respect his next option. 33% into something else. All of this is plus pressure. Cage. You're ridiculous. And one of the best things about it is if he manages to get a throw within his pressure, which is very common, he gets almost all of his stamina yeah, back, which allows him to restart it. That's why a lot of cages will grab or they'll even burn a bar in a combo they don't necessarily need to burn a bar in just to make sure that their stamina regains, or excuse me, regenerates by the time their nut punch is over. Yep. Ooh, just armors through the crawler right there. Good choice. Now, Crawler is a low hitting move, so one of the better strategies with Broodmother is that you can drop the low bug and then do her overhead at nearly yeah. the same time, which is a very, very hard to block situation. Ooh! Ooh run cancel down once, I see. Oh, and the Crawler actually helped elevate Cage in that combo. <laughs> that was cool. All right, hard knockdown and armor. Oh, no, not hard enough that, uh, yeah. still, yeah. Why no, Zwei needs to keep the pressure on. He cannot let Cage get this started. Oh no, get struggled out of the air. That's why he's within chip life now. One, four, three. If oh, he... oh! Wait a second. Zwei stays alive and he takes the game with that perfect jump back too. I mean, that is one of the best ways that you can deal with Johnny Cage's forward advancing normals, and her jump too is so yes. good. But and that was down to the last hit. No, I mean, this is a great match because it's two really high-pressure characters with really good footsie tools. It's, uh, I mean, honestly, I could see it going either way from here on out. Yeah, I'm really liking what I'm seeing from Zwei as well because Broodmother, we don't ever get to see this. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure exactly how much Vendetta has played against Broodmother. But there's a lot of players that have it. I mean, I know for a fact Honeybee was really excited to see this week's topic because he wanted to specifically see Zwei play with this variation. Yeah, uh, me too, honestly. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people. And Zvi, I know, was also very excited. They said, you know, I'm yeah. just really excited to make top eight this week. Uh, whether I get blown up or not, I'm just glad that I can represent Broodmother. But they're definitely not getting blown up right now. No, not at all. In fact, very solid play here. All right, more pressure. Ooh, interestingly enough, Vendetta just respecting yeah. those this time. <laughs> I really like that. <laughs> the down ones, move yeah. forward, down one, move forward, down one. It remind, whoa, weird, got the got the strange yeah. knockdown right there. Those oh. down one combos remind me of Mortal Kombat 9 combos. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's why I like it. <laughs> it looks goofy. All right, now that's a good choice by Vendetta. Every oh, time no. that she throws out the mid-screen crawler, he just armors through and doesn't want to deal with this yep, situation. And this is what I'm talking about. Cage can confirm off of <laughs> anything. Yep, I mean, if your run cancels are down, which I gotta say aren't easy off of all of the, uh, his moves. No. But if you have them down, his conversion ability is some of the highest. Oh, that AGP was so deep. 
I felt that one. Oh, nice down Ooh. too. That was really late. Oh, the poor little crawler just died on the ground. Oh, but here comes Spy. <laughs> Did he get the move? His, <laughs> with his own combo. Oh, that was a bad whiff. What a whiff punish, though. Oh, but again, messes up his cancel. Oh, ooh, safe on block. I'm sure he could have ducked that, though. Oh, the oh, crawler went what? backwards! <laughs> that was interesting. All right, corner pressure. Oh, That's gets hit. Low. That should be it. Oh, just wow. barely. Oh, oh, but I don't like that. Why Why don't I like that, Chef? Because he threw Johnny Cage out of the corner. And, uh, yeah, that's bad. I mean, if, if there's one character in the game, maybe not one, but if there's one of the few characters in the game that you do not want to be in the corner against, it's Johnny Cage. Yeah. Oh, and there's the full combo. Let's see if he accidentally throws him out again. I'm sure it was an accident. I hope not. Please. Oh, no, he's oh, just going to go for up. a crawler mix-up. Very nice. Now, that was a great choice. By Vendetta to do a delayed wake up. That way, he didn't have to deal with the mix up, but it was also a great choice by Zvi to realize that and just throw. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh no conversion. Oh, that's a pun. Oh, you can punish that. Oh, oh nice. nice. Just anti him with the armor. And again, he canceled off a whiff. The second hit of that streak yep. whiff. As Vi needs to block this mix up here, or they're dead. Oh, and now they might just be at chip life, but Vendetta doesn't have any meter to use the expire balls. Oh, oh still there it is. And all of, <laughs> all, of all of Florida <laughs> cheering through Vendetta's mic. <laughs> oh my goodness. So uh yeah, one one. This is a very close set. Honestly, I yeah. could, like I said, I could see it going going either way. Honestly, so far this is I think this is my favorite set. Mine too, without a doubt. Uh, so far, so far, of course. And uh, we've got some great matches still coming up too. Oh, oh, do we? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying. <laughs> All right, well, you know what? I think Vendetta has quite a few people cheering for him, so I feel like I should uh, cheer for Zvi. But uh, yeah, I. Honestly, huge fan of Zvi. We haven't seen him, or sorry, we haven't seen Brewmother of this level very much at all. I mean, like you did mention Honeybee earlier. Yeah, Honeybee, Honeybee does play. By the way, bit. congratulations to him doing very well at High Spotting. Oh yeah, oh yeah, second place. I <laughs> oh yeah, uh, yeah, very, very, very solid player. I, uh, I like him. I gotta say. He's yeah, an, he's an all right gentleman. Yeah, I, I'm. I like the fact that he's stuck with yes. Mora through the throughout everything. Way. Yep. That armor. Now that might. This honestly might be one of the biggest factors of this matchup. Is the fact that they both have opportunities to armor out potentially. But Cage's is so much better. Yeah, because Cage starts with full combo and Broodmother or Boris. All she gets is just, it's just a get off me. Yep. And both, of course, equally unsafe. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow! What a dominant by Vendetta. Round two. Fight. And yeah, that was a much closer round than we're used to seeing out of these two. Misses a run cancel though. That could have been a lot of damage, but Zvi gets out yep. relatively unharmed. And again, going for that jump back. Who back that just in? This, this is what I'm saying. Cage's zoning is not bad at all. Yeah, and actually, from seeing Vendetta at a few ter different tournaments, oh, nice I have armor. noticed that he's one of the few Cages who loves to zone. Yeah, why not? You have a good tool. It's true, and even if you're not doing a ton of damage within that zoning, you're building a lot of meter, and meter is very, very good for Johnny Cage. And honestly, getting out zoned by, or getting zoned by Cage is kind of a mental guard break. Like, why is this happening? I know, I know. And also, it's a, it's a zoning game that you specifically have to know how to get around, because yeah. it does start mid, and it ends mid, but in the middle, you can duck it, but you need to kind know those of, ranges. Yeah. Oh, and here's an opportunity for a comeback, and oh, dropped combo. Again. That's gonna be tough. Oh, wait a second. Here comes Y. And armor. Yeah. Wow. Vendetta is really starting to hammer out this matchup. Yeah, looking much better than he did in the first game. Now, uh, I do wonder why Zvi likes Broodmother so much. Maybe he just likes it because it's cool, or, I mean, I. it seems like a lot of his gameplay would also work very well if he was using Swarm. Yeah, I agree. And another interesting thing is we, I have seen him earlier use EX projectile pressure, which is something right, we're not seeing right. very much at all against Johnny Cage right now. Maybe, wait a second. Nope, never mind. I thought maybe he would go to Swarm Queen, but. Look at those sweet tats. <laughs>
Yeah, no, uh, looks like he's just gonna stick through it all the way. Which how, I, I respect. Look how presumptuous Johnny looks in that in that picture, like in his profile card. <laughs> I, 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 not a fan. Fight. I feel like Johnny is your your main enemy right now in this game. He was my enemy in MC9, and he's my enemy in this game. Oh, oh here we nice. go. He's, but the thing, okay, the thing about Zvi is he's got to be careful every time Vendetta has meter, he uses it to armor that puddle. Hard knockdown again. Again, we've seen that mix up, but it worked again. That exact same situation. Yep. Oh, nice. So Zvi almost with a per, uh, flawless. Yeah, uh, this is such a back and forth set. I would love to see it go to the last game. Oh, though. no, getting tagged in the face by those. Oh, nice. Instead of using the nut punch that actually could have whiffed, potentially, he just went whip kick. Nice. Ooh, very interesting combo. Did standing one down one. And standing again, the one. Delay. No, don't jump yourself in the corner, please. Not against Johnny. Not against, I mean, against anyone, but especially against Johnny. Now, one thing that Zvi needs to see here is that he does have the interactable to his back, which is a great armored option. And he's going to need to use it if he wants to survive this round. More team shot. Honestly, at this point, I would just let go of block and just build as much meat as you can. Yeah. Just... Yep, just gets clipped by the just down Just get three. clipped. Don't what else can you do? Maybe you should have tried to jump out. Just try something at that right. point. Right. Uh, well, by, I, I apologize. What I meant by let go yeah. of block is stop trying to defend and just do whatever you can to get out of the corner without letting Johnny build any more meter. Yep. Oh, should be a full combo here. All right. Gonna, ooh, spend some meter. Give a little bit of extra damage. Oh, and no corner setup. So here's the thing. Vendetta has also delayed wake up almost every time in the corner. That should be a tell to Zvi to also delay what he's trying to do yeah. against Johnny on wake up. Ooh, and he managed to get the conversion. Because Broodmother has nasty armor breaking combo or setups with Does. that crawler. Oh, nice conversion there with the projectile hold. That's not going to be quite enough. Very nice oh, escape, but we've got red Johnny light Johnny. Is, I was going to say, oh. Johnny is red. That's very dangerous. It is, and they actually buffed it to give him a much, much, much higher damage throw in red. Yeah. Wins. I believe it's 17% now. Because he needs it. Right. He needs to become a grappler, too. No, it's, uh, but, I mean, I would love to see a red life come back. And that is going to take us to our third game. It was, I mean, it was close, it was close, and then it was very one-sided for Vendetta, and then, and then it was very one-sided one for Zwei. Yeah. This is what the pro league's all about. This is. Ladies Johnny and gentlemen. I, dude, I'm enjoying this match so much. Oh, but he, he's got a costume change, I believe. Oh, and he is going with the commando. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. He told you no. So he's not commando. All right, going into the third game. Round one. Ooh, I like Fight. that coat. Of our last, uh, our last first round winners game. Starting off just throwing, just just taking a little bit of chip off of those interactables. Ooh, just hits him with the raw overhead. I, I think that may have been the first time we've seen him drop that forward advance in town one combo. Yeah. Oh, and Vendetta's disrespecting that bug a little bit too much. Yep. Oh, oh, could have gotten a full combo off of that. Why are you? Bye, please. <laughs> nice block on the overhead. Ooh, man, good defense by both players. Nobody's getting hit by anything. Oh, but again, I don't know why Vendetta keeps disrespecting the buff. Yeah, I don't know why either. And it's gonna cost him here. Oh, that's a risky break. It should be. Oh, oh, wait a second. In red. Will it be enough to kill it? It should. is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Vendetta wow. with the clutch jump in. I, I can't believe he actually went for that risk and it actually paid off. The bug was literally inches from tagging Johnny. It was. I, I feel like a projectile could have worked really well right there. Maybe just patience. Again, a delayed wake up. But no meter, so Johnny can't just get out of that for free. There we go, finally respecting the bug. Good choice. But uh, man, that's been a lot of damage by Zvi. But here we go, here's Vendetta's chance. Oh, unfortunately knocks him away. Which, uh, I mean, zoning can work, but I still feel like Vendetta's oh, won most of his games from pressure. That had to be an error. He was charging the nut punch, but here we go. Zvi is now tied it up, very last round. And what a, what a fitting way for this to end. It is, very last round, both players with two bars. All right, already some media usage by Vendetta. 
Oh, nice no. getting in, but he drops. A whiff. That would have been so much damage. And oh, oh there we go again. So lucky to get that overhead because he was about to put himself in the corner against Cage. Oh, and there we go again. No, not I blocking the. I love that hit. Yep. Nice oh. bait. He actually tried to bait that, I believe, yeah. but he did the jump attack a little bit too fast and it didn't autocorrect. Oh, nice. Oh, no, he could have gotten a full conversion off of that. Oh, wait a second. <sighs> he tried to go oh, for that something meter. fancy. This is dangerous. It is. One hit from Johnny and it should be over. Oh, but oh. why with the projectile? I know. He made you forget that he uh, even has that. Or yeah. she even has that in that variation. He didn't even really start using I mean, he was using it to to confirm combos in the corner. The yep. But mid-screen, uh, wasn't really using it too much. Yeah, uh, and uh, it works. I mean, generally when you look at Devora, you don't look at her as a projectile character. Right. But that variation in particular, which is one you don't see too often, does in fact have an option. So has a decent projectile. That, that was a great match. That yeah. was my favorite match of the night. I'm uh, I'm excited to see more of Vi, but also Vendetta played extremely well. And congratulations to him. I easily yeah. could have gone either way. And I mean, just seeing Broodmother do so well, that was fun. Yeah, for the honestly for the first time for me, even right. offline, uh, anywhere, anywhere on anybody even casual no, streams, no, not never even seen here it. In I mean, no one even has like a. We have a few people that have like pocket swarm queens or try to play swarm queen, but. To see Broodmother played this well was exciting. I love that. <laughs> it's so <laughs> awesome. Oh, it's such a beautiful conversion off that jump punch into the crawler. I might learn this variation, honestly. Oh, please don't. You play enough characters. <laughs> you still don't even know if you want to play. True. Oh, and but I mean, sword. again, Vendetta, it could have gone either way. That last round was such a scramble at the end. Yep. And again, I feel like both of these players could have used interactables a little bit more in most of their games. Well, spe specifically Devora too. Yeah. I mean, Vendetta was using a lot of armored options. He was making him respect the nut punch and then making him block. This right here. Where he oh, like, oh. the crawler left. As soon as Johnny went up in the air, the crawler was like, yo, I'm out of here, peace. Like, yeah. I, <laughs> I'm not dealing with this Johnny in the air right now. Oh. Like, look at this again. Just puts it down. Had he jumped a, sec <laughs> a, a millisecond earlier, he would have landed, squashed the bug, and died. The crow's like, oh, no, dude, I'm getting out no, of he's here. Like, I'm not going to squish the neck. Peace, fam, I'm out. Like, yeah. we, we ain't out here. But, again, congratulations to Zwei. Congratulations to Vendetta for making his first top eight, getting points. That's very important. And, of course, shout-outs to the Florida scene for always keeping it hype. I mean... This this season for me has been something really special and having this huge opportunity. Brian was with me for season one and it was really special going. Well, I wouldn't really say really special going through it with Brian, <laughs> but it was really cool to go through it with someone else as well. Brian, now how do you feel about season three and what we're doing? Uh, it, it's amazing, man. It makes it makes me so happy just coming from all the grassroots stuff that we came from and seeing where this is going. And it just seems to keep getting bigger and better. And it. I love it because I know how hard these guys work to get to where they're at to be this good, and now they're really being rewarded. So it makes me so happy. But season three specifically, it, I mean, it's ridiculous. We first of all, we added the PlayStation Four console. We have Xbox and PlayStation. Um, we the prize pool is crazy. It, it doubled from the season two finals, which was already ridiculous. And also on that note, don't forget to download that uh, Crimson Ermac skin and support all that. There's uh, NRS and WB giving away tons of money all the way from now until Evo for all of these tournaments. Uh, which I really appreciate. Of course, we have an extra region, Latin America. I, just, I definitely want to welcome them to the Pro League. Very excited to have them. Can't wait to see how they do, especially in the finals. And then, um, oh man, offline qualifiers. We were talking about that earlier. Uh, I've been excited for that since season one. We finally get to have them, which I, I'm, I can't wait to see. And of course, the Challenger Cups, where we're kind of giving people a chance to level up, get better, hone their skills, and not really have to deal with all the killers uh, in the Pro League, which is, uh, it's just great all the way around. Really, really pleasure to be a part of it. Yeah, man, I agree, and thank you so much for having me be a part of it. Uh, next up, we're going to have Scar versus Sonic Fox. The yeah, classic. The classic, so make sure not to go anywhere. We'll be right back.
the Xenomorph. I will tame you, animal. Alien. Officially known as Xenomorph XX121, this immensely hostile species lives to propagate itself by harvesting other life forms. The Xenomorph's superior body structure features great strength, cunning agility, and highly corrosive blood as a defensive mechanism. Spawning from a Tarkatan host, Alien is ready to terrorize and colonize any realm with three variations. In the Tarkatan variation, Alien brandishes arm blades, increasing normal attack range to slice and dice its enemies. Tarkatan Rush, back forward Y, is a high pressure special attack, allowing Alien to mix up and extend combos. Keep your foe guessing with vicious tail attacks and end your combos with Chop Chop or Xeno Strike. After trapping your opponent, use Low Cut, Back A, in combination with Tail Slam and Quick Dash to maximize damage. In the Conjure variation, summon Ovomorphs and Xenomorph drones to do your bidding on the battlefield. After an opening, overpower your enemy and spawn a facehugger to set up your next engagement. Use Zeta 2, Ford XAB, in combination with Quick Dash to keep up the pressure. Change the angle of your attack. After sending out an SOS, summon the Hive with deadly aerial mix ups. Corrode your opponent's defenses with the Acidic Variation. Exosting, down back Y, spews acid that damages over time. When used on a grounded opponent, it allows Alien to continue with an onslaught of mix-ups. After a combo, use Acidic Blood, down back B. This short-range special attack causes Alien to hurl acid on the enemy, re-standing them out of a juggle. Command the screen with Alien's long-range attacks, agile special moves, and terrifying mix-ups. Stalk from a distance, or rush in and exterminate with extreme prejudice. Make the enemy declare, Game over, man! with an X-ray finisher. Give your old rival a mouthful of pain with the brutality. Brutality. Alien wins. Evolve with the horrifically perfect organism, Alien. to the ESL MKX Pro League, where we just watch one of the most exciting matches we've seen in a while, I'd like to say. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Zvi now. Yeah, and same. I, same as We're going to get to see another match from them. Yeah, we are. All right, so I want to give a huge shout-out, if I may, to Vienna and Viennality. That was my first time in Europe, and Storm and everyone part of that community really made me feel welcome. The tournament itself... It was really exciting. Their top eight was, oh my goodness, Madsen versus Tekken Master. I'm a huge Tekken Master fan, by the way, now. He's he's a play-to-win guy. But also, in case you guys don't know, Viennality is a uh, tournament run in Vienna mm -hmm. by fourth placer from uh, the last season, uh, Storm. Storm. 
So Christoph. he runs his own MKX only major. So shout out to that. Yeah, I believe it was, it was the first MKX only major. It was it was absolutely it was the biggest European MKX major that we've ever seen or MK major for that uh, matter. It was over 100 people, a lot of really tough competition. I mean, there was multiple multiple countries involved. The French guys came down. Obviously, we had Madsen from Germany. And then we had some Brits, we had some Scots, and it, w- it was just really cool for me because, you know, I'm just an ignorant American, like I only get to see American players all the time. But it was it was a really special experience, so I just want to give a huge shout out to them and a huge shout out to Warner, Brother, Warner Brothers for supplying them with a bonus. It was awesome, all the way around. Thank you so much. That tournament was sick. Hype spotting was sick. Everything was sick. Let's get into this match. All right, so rematch from season finals, rematch from Challenger Cup this weekend, rematch from KIT finals. Rematch from everywhere. This is becoming the new classic. Yep, uh, I mean, once upon a time, I would have said maybe it was Sonic Fox and Cowboy, but it has become slowly over time, Sonic Fox and Scar. And, Scar. and uh, it's gone both ways. I mean, we did see a pretty dominating showing in season finals, but it was a totally different character matchup than this on a totally different patch yeah. with no DLC. So let's see how this goes now. It's going to be acidic from Sonic Fox. Looks like he's going to be using it most of the way. Yeah, I'm pretty interested to see. I mean, we've already saw how disgusting his acidic was, but I want to see it against Scar, yep. one of his nemesis. MSI. Ooh, a very nice block, but a uh, good choice right there. Now, that, that is actually punishable, the flip, but it wasn't yeah. quite fast enough of a punish by Scar, so Sonic Fox taking advantage of that and getting a full combo off of his arm. Yeah, Scar just trying to desperately gr get grenades off of his thigh. Nice run under... Oh, but he doesn't complete the punish, and now Sonic Fox with armor of his own. And he's going to be just a little bit of poison here to kill. Oh, no, but this could be the big comeback. One more mix-up. Scar does have X-ray. Oh, no, he's just going to burn the meter. Oh, and he gets the conversion off of a and single grabs. bomb. This isn't going to kill. Oh, oh, it is. Oh, I didn't think that was going to do that much damage. But, wow, I can't believe he got that conversion. Now, oh, my goodness. Scar, stop. Now, the way that that works is it throws out one grenade for every grenade that's, that Sonya is missing. Yes. So she was only missing one grenade, but he still used it perfect. That was such a smart use of that. A nice dive kick to start the combo. Scar is showing why he can compete with Sonic Fox on a regular basis by competing well with Sonic Fox right now. Yeah, and it's looking very like a very, very good round for Scar, but here we go, Sonic Fox's chance. Oh, that was... He, he, you can tell he tried to fuzzy that a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and here we go, already evening it up. Oh, the respect there from Fox. Nice down two. Alien with such a strong down two and, as well. Wow, that was a... a Huge comeback with very few combos. These it's matches just... are ridiculously fast. Or these rounds. I mean, it's only been two, but they've gone by in 20 seconds. Yep. Oh, and gets under and gets the full Joel out of the Love air. It. Oh, okay. I like that. He kind of just got a poke, got a little bit of a life lead. Now he's backing off. But again, Sonic Fox is like 9 for 10 <laughs> yeah. with that armored overflip. Dude, he is just hitting. He's 9 for 10. He's like... 19 for 20, maybe. Yeah. Especially, I mean, throughout the whole tournament. I was trying to give a rough percentage base. All right. Well, let's. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> but there no, it is. No, yeah, for sure. Sonic I mean, Fox. The scary thing is that he uses so many lows within his neutral game. He's down four. Yeah. He uses back three. Both of those very, very good, very far reaching lows. And once you start respecting those, there comes the overhead armor, which leads to a full combo. Yeah, and he doesn't always do it. Sometimes he just cancels it into the acid spray. Yep. Or honestly, a lot of those, I mean, he's got low options too. He can yeah. cancel every single one of his hits into an overhead or, or a, low. a low. And on wake up, he can either, I mean, we've seen him exclusively wake up with the overhead, but mm -hmm. that's also because it's worked 90% of the time. <laughs> it has. And so many people try to jump over it, but you get caught by that you tail. You get caught. But that's the thing, it is punishable. Yes, yes, it is, it is quite punishable. <laughs> Assuming you block it, right. which is something we're not seeing too much of yet. But, of course, Scar, one of the best players in the world. I'm sure he can adapt. <laughs> I say it's <laughs> hit by another overhead. Oh, my goodness. The curse is so real. It's unblockable, I'm pretty sure. It might be. In the most recent patch. <laughs> Just kidding, of course. Oh, nice. Oh, there it is. He lost it. You clapped. I love it. <laughs> All right. Here we go. What does Scar have in the corner in store? If, oh, doesn't have any grenades. He might be saving that so he can burn the barred meter. What? Did you see how much damage that yes. did the Scar, even and though there he takes the throw? Nice block. 
Uh-oh, and that should oh, be it. No. Oh, this is very... Oh, I can't, my I... heartbeat just <laughs> skipped as soon as I saw that he left Fox with some Round life to spare. Two. Never leave Fox with any life. With Kill. anything. Just Take Kill it all. or just give up. Nice blocks again, but not punishing and eating an NJP. Oh, he got really far out wow, of there. Wow, that was ballsy, and unfortunately, it cost Scar. Oh, that's going to be a ton of damage into free chip. Nice blocks again. All right, not quite far enough to get that restand. And, ooh, great conversion. Now, you can that's her wake up. It, she's the only person in the move who has a meterless, invincible wake yes. up. Doesn't even have armor. And you can actually only convert off of it if they're in the corner or if you're in the corner. So that was a great oh, move by Scar. So it was, it was a poison hit that killed, but even if Scar would have blocked that, the puddle itself would have acted like Caltrops and killed her anyways. All right, only one grenade left here, and there it goes. There now it he's comes. not going to have a safe chance to reload. Uh, off in the distance. <laughs> oh, and again, trying to jump away from the armor, just not working. I almost thought Fox was going to convert off that. That would have been nutty. Yeah, he's definitely dropped a few of the conversions off of that, which yeah. is not good. And not Fox either. Yeah, yeah. And this is a bad situation. Oh, no. Yeah, he, he knew right there. He needed to just reload, take the hit, and break it because yeah. he was not going to do anything without grenades. That is the biggest weakness of Demolition, and uh, it really showed in that round. Yeah, and unfortunately for Scar, Fox was on point and punishing almost every drone Alien call. Wins. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Alien, despite not... I mean, he does have projectiles, or he right. or she, whatever it is. Uh, <laughs> it. It. <laughs> despite not having super good projectiles, it's, it itself is basically a projectile. Back three is a low that reaches 90% of the screen from it's, anywhere. It's pretty good. Uh, jump four, which is another thing that we haven't seen too much, is a tail attack that oh actually will hit. Jump four is nuts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm surprised that we're not seeing Sonic Fox use too much of that. I'm also surprised that Scar, I'm not surprised that he's staying with Demo, but actually, is he Demo? I didn't see, actually. I didn't see, but I'm surprised it didn't take an extra second to just kind of think in the character select screen. Uh, I agree, I agree. Oh no, it looks no, like doing not. special forces. Ooh, we haven't seen special forces for a very, very yes. long time. And of course, for those not wow, familiar with special forces, that's the one where she summons the drone, and, and there you go. can be a pain in the behind. Pain in the tail, say. Uh... Oh, Ooh. all right. There we go, using the homing missile. Now, that this drone stays out until you decide to blow it up. Now, yeah. when you blow it up, it does launch, and it is low or mid. But uh, aside from that, you can just do homing missiles all day with it. And right. It's very hard to deal with. It's 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 similar. I mean, I can see where Stark can play it similar to Demolition with the grenades, but it also has a completely unique aspect in itself. Yep. And again, the challenge is going to be for Scar to find situations where he can re make... Oh! oh. It was, it was a good It, was a good, it try. was a good try, but now, unfortunately, Sonic Fox is on game point, and Fight. Scar has no meter whatsoever to work with. I mean, luckily, neither does Fox, but... And, uh, yeah, like I was saying, the toughest thing here is going to be for him to find situations to resummon the drone yeah. without using the drone, and oh, he's again. basically like, like uh, dem Demolition Without Grenades. It's very tough to deal with. Oh, and all this damage is not looking good for Scar. Sonic Fox... About to cleanly sweep him out, but Scar with a grab of his own, getting something started. Oh, wait a second. Armor break. Oh, and, and great that's going to do it. Yep. Oh. Okay, no, just enough. Death. Just enough. And, uh, wow, Sur you know, surprisingly, a very, very clean 3-0 from, uh, yeah. from Sonic Fox. That was, I mean, the first game was definitely close, or much closer. And it was very fast paced. I mean, those first two rounds went to Scar and Fox, respectively, really, really quick. But the next two games were almost 100% Fox. Yeah, uh, Scar just overwhelmed by him in the corner. And that's, again, that's just such a scary corner game. Yeah. Restand, you're sitting in poison. I mean, so Fox can just sit there and just be like, well, try to get out of the poison. I'm just going to wait for you and react. But, I mean, but that's also not really Fox's play style. We've, we've seen with everyone he plays. He's. He's very in your face, and his offense doesn't really stop ever. And he's yeah. very intelligent about what buttons to press and, and when to bait things out. Again, we saw him landing like 90% of his armored overheads, which is a pain to deal with. Yeah, I mean, that is by far the tool that he's using the best yeah. in this uh just we character. still have yet to even see him use the armored low. He hasn't needed to. Yeah, not a single time has he even used the low special move. Yeah. It's just that he uses the lows within the strings to condition the opponent, or and just the th fact of throw, not throw, or even just making your opponent want to poke. Right, and the thing that's really, really smart on Fox is 
I, I like that little drone. The yeah. little drone at the end there getting the extra hit on the knockdown, but the thing about Fox is if you notice the way he spaces his combo right, because the, the regular Acid Blood uh, mid-screen, it's not like super plus in the corner. It's a little more plus because of the situation you're put in. But the very tip of that Acid Blood is hitting in the mid-screen combo, which is giving Sonic Fox just enough plus frames to get another attack started. Yeah, yeah, it actually hits meaty, so it hits late in its active yeah. frames and gives you more advantage. It's a, it's a smart by Fox, and he, yeah. I mean, he knows all the ranges and all the setups already, and it's interesting to see that this might be his new main. I mean, I didn't expect it. Uh, I, I know that he was really interested in uh, Leatherface, Mm -hmm. uh, initially when Leatherface came out, which I think is a really strong character, by the way. I think we're going to see uh, Leatherface come out in his own. But, I mean, it kind of makes sense, but not the variation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, we have heard from multiple times from Sonic Fox himself that he loves playing setup characters. Right. Setup characters in every game he plays, but in MKX, he hasn't found a character that he enjoys enough as a setup character. Right. Of course, he's found characters he enjoys, but uh, so I'm surprised we're not seing him use Summoner right. or Contra. Sorry. But that's going to lead us into our next match. So again, congratulations to Fox moving on to Grand Finals, and congratulations to Scar making it to uh, a respectable fourth. But it's now going to be Zvi versus Jupiter. I don't know who to root for here. Well, I do. It's going to be Jupiter. But I really, really, really liked watching Zvi and that Broodmother. But Jupiter plays Wrestler Jax. I can't. I'm I'm a huge fan of Zvi now, and I would love to, just to see more Broodmother. I would love to see Zvi win, but also, uh, like I said, Jupiter, one of the best players in the world, definitely oh. has a chance of dethroning Sonic Fox. Yeah, I agree, but what a way to start that round off. Zvi with an NJP, but... Oh, nice! So Zvi trying to deny any momentum for Jupiter, and I like this. Because if you let Wrestler get started, it's bad. Any variation of Jax. Yep. And we're seeing again, Jupiter, just like Vendetta, is disrespecting the bug. And yeah. disrespecting that bug leads to so much damage. <laughs> but that's the thing. How many people have experience against Broodmother? Yeah. No, very few, apparently. But Zvi, I mean, regardless, is playing amazingly and taking advantage of every single hit. But uh, now, one thing that we didn't mention there is at the end of that last round, Jupiter made a great choice to get out of the corner even though he died. Yeah. All right, getting the Oki. Oh, and he knows. Yep. He knows. Perfect choice. But again, there's the weak, one of the biggest weaknesses of the four is he made the right read, only and got about still, 10%. Yeah. Oh, and, and that's a low. It's just hitting everybody. I, I like this, though, because it's really giving us an opportunity to see these top players adapt on the fly. And we knew, we normally don't really get to see that because they're adapting to just player tendencies as opposed to a matchup itself. Yeah. Oh, and that should be it. Oh, oh no, no, doesn't get the full combo. Oh, that was very close to being a down two for Zvi, but wait a oh. second, now Zvi with pressure. Oh, and that should be it. Again, disrespecting. Nope. Oh, oh my goodness, <laughs> Jupiter. Wake up knee for the second time in the game. That is the Jupiter special. He loves doing wake up back four four. It has no armor, no invincibility. It just hits because he's Jupiter. <laughs> it's just like, cause he's so carefree, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I love this kid. Oh, that should be a big punish. Yep, yep good break there. He would have been basically chipped at, at that point. Uh, Jax is Again, is getting huge. caught by the low crawler. Nice block on the down one, though. That is really hard to spot. Yep. Oh, and that should be the kill. Not enough meter to break. Oh, oh drops, drops the combo. But that, that should, should be it. Yeah. And oh, and the Brutal smashes her buggy face in. He squashed that bug. Like a boot on a cockroach, you know? That would be a uh, Tanya fatality, actually. <laughs> Pay your respects. I, I, I really try to like you sometimes. There is a new king. So I just wanted to read a tweet real quick, if I may, gentlemen. Oh, please. It's actually a question, and, and it's uh, from a PXP Foxy Grandpa. Maybe uh, you've heard of him. I, I don't, don't know, know who that is. I don't even no? know. Oh, never mind then. Okay. Uh, his question is, has anybody seen my brother Lance? <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a huge thing here during Season 2 Finals. Every other second, one of the Europeans was throwing that out there. Shoutouts to, to Foxy for knowing what I'm talking about. Actually, I, th I think it started with uh, Dab. It started with Dab. Doing all of his weird voices. Yeah, and then he just went straight to Jupiter for some reason. 
But anyways, getting back into the match with Jupiter. Oh, he went for the one, two, down three. I like that, the, the fake out on the low. That was a dropped big punish right yeah. there. But yeah, as Vi, it seems like he knows the gaps relatively well where uh, Wrestler is going to oh, take the throw. Oh, again, another drop there. That's plus. Very plus. Yeah, and man, Jupiter's, Jupiter's controlling Zvi in the corner right now, 100%. And basically no momentum gained at all by yeah. Zvi that entire and set. I, and, I, round. and I like that Jupiter, if you notice, did 1, 2, 4 um, into command, uh, excuse me, into gotcha instead of command grab because that would catch him jumping out. Yep. And that's the mix-up. That's what makes wrestlers so dangerous. Yeah, that is one of the scariest things about wrestlers. That even if people know exactly how to fight wrestler, he has options to cover. Oh, and the reset! Those. But a drop, unfortunately. All right, Spy got out. Did he still get anything started? Oh no, nothing. Oh yes, yeah, something. <laughs> nothing. So <laughs> I like it though. I like it. Nice block. Okay, so he's he's learning. He is, but maybe that's where Zvi needs to start throwing in throws. Oh, you gotta punish that. Oh no, and that should be nearly chip life. Oh, oh wait a second. Didn't break the armor. And again! <laughs> Jupiter is so carefree throwing out the knee. Oh, the Jupiter knee. He is uh it's working for him, man. It's working yeah. for him. It's uh it's Inexplicable. You you can't be like, yeah, it's uh, it's great this and this. It's just like, yeah, Jupiter just does it. I, it works. I think Jupiter is my new favorite for finally, because I cannot play Wrestler Jax at this level. But I I've always been saying like how good this variation is, and now finally we get to see it. Jupiter, thank you so much. Zvi, I'm sorry. Really solid player. I love his brood mother, but wow, I'm being really biased right now. A little bit, a little, a little bit. bit. Yeah. I think. I think maybe uh, you're trying to join Team Noble or something like that. Between Dab and Jupiter. My, uh, <laughs> right? That's the fam right there, dude. My two homies. No, but a uh, shout out to Noble, who is doing extremely well this yes. season already. Even two with people Toxin. in top eight. Yeah. yeah. And surprisingly, not Dab. Right? But that's that's the thing. Again, that's why I love the Pro League. Different faces, new chances for everyone. Man, Zvi has been great on the reads with the armor. He's hit all but one. Nice, jumps out. This time goes for the anti-air down one, but doesn't work out for Zvi. Yeah, anti-air down one is not a great option against Jax's jump in. His jump in doesn't have a lot of horizontal range, but its vertical range is Right, huge. it's like sub-zeros. Yeah, very, very similar. Yeah. Oh, tries to jump out and again, again with the knee. And a big punish here for Jupiter. Oh, gets the knockdown, but oh, that could be it. Nope, definitely not going to be it. Can be one more hit here. Oh no! Oh, oh my goodness! Throw. Okay, do that one more time, and get the brutal, please. And uh, that was close, but it's gonna put Jupiter on match point here. Oh, it doesn't isn't able to anti that. Oh, I mean, here we go, and throw for the corner. I yeah, like that good choice. Now Jupiter's made the great choices of using the correct jump ins, the correct times to really stop Zvi. Yeah. You ain't bad. Again, wow, just, just getting caught raw that time. Nice patience here from Dab. And he is winning. Or he was winning in the life lead, but. I think Jax is just grossed out that she's squirting bug guts in his face. <laughs> and no stamina for Ew. Jupiter to unfortunately continue the combo, but now he's using all of it to run Zwei in the corner, and that's going to be it. Uh, didn't even take the brutal. But yeah, very uh, honestly quite one sided. Uh, Zvi did put up quite a good fight in every single one of those rounds, but yeah. uh, just couldn't get out of that Jax pressure. And again, that's one of the biggest things is, like we said earlier, same thing with Vendetta, the fact that armor from one of these pressure characters starts a combo and armor from the other one does not. Yeah, and that's really where, you know, like you said, it's where it hurts Devora. And on top of that, what I was saying earlier in that set is we really got to see the matchup knowledge slowly start coming to Jupiter as, as a top player, and he really started to adapt. And that's really what I wanted to see out of Jupiter. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, it was obvious that he was unfamiliar with some of her things. Yeah, definitely at first when he was disrespecting the bug. But uh, he learned rather quick and just didn't give a... I mean, that was it. He didn't and give Zvi another chance. The knees. Oh, my gosh. So serious. Uh, he was... He's 100% on those knees. That I actually think he is. I don't think he's missed a single one. The only one was the very beginning of the first game 
and it didn't get blocked, it just whipped. Right. So he has not had a single one of those wake-up knees blocked. And this is pretty much where the entire match took place for his pie, was in the corner. <laughs> yep. Gotta get out of there. But again, there were a lot of interactable options. That is honestly a huge thing, especially when your character doesn't have great armor, or your fighting character like Jax or Johnny, or even Devora herself. So. Oh, these little... <laughs> I love this combo. <laughs> oh, and the and command then, grab. And then here's the command there grab. Boom. I wish he would have ended with that brutal, though. Yeah. Uh, that would have been awesome. So, congratulations to Zvi. And this is right here at the end of the match. Yeah, just down four and a gotcha grab pressure. Really solid stuff from Jupiter. But congratulations to Zvi. Zvi for getting top four. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of points. That's a lot of points. And a little bit of monies. That's a good amount of money. Not bad, but it's going to be Ju <laughs> Jupiter versus Fox. It's happening. I think he could do it. Yeah. I do. I really think he could do it. Wrestler. And we, I mean, the la when was the last time we realistically saw Sonic Fox play against Jax? I mean, the last time I personally remember was at Fatal 8 against Tyrant. <laughs> that was a long time ago. And that was pumped up, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Which has also changed. Uh, I, I, I can't remember, honestly. Um, All right. But we also want to talk to you a little bit about our offline qualifier, qu uh, offline qualifier, qualifier. We're really, really excited to have that. The community wanted it. We were able to give it to you. So now we're going to head over to Brian with the Hado. Hey guys, again, I am joined by the Hado, as Dustin would say. It's not how I say it, but it's okay. Uh, AKA Rick. Rick, thank you for joining us, sir. Yeah, hey guys. How you doing tonight? Great, great. We're having a lot of fun, man. So again, uh, Combo Breaker is going to be our offline qualifier in the North American region. Now, Combo Breaker has always been loved by the NRS community. And of course, it's on uh, sacred ground over there, if you will, uh, in Chicago, of course. Um, why don't you give us a little history about Combo Breaker? So Combo Breaker is the spiritual successor to the Midwest's former large format major, which was the Ultimate Fighting Game Tournament run by Adam Hart. We rebranded and relaunched last year as Combo Breaker to kind of continue on with the legacy that we'd set up with the core tournament team in that area. We've expanded and grown since then, um, particularly last year hosting what was one of the largest Mortal Kombat X tournaments in the country. Yeah, I remember that was really exciting to watch. And um, again, how do you feel about just in general having an offline qualifier as being a part of the Pro League this season? Um, I feel great about it. I, I think having an offline qualifier for an online league is beneficial, particularly for a lot of players that compete offline and travel around to these tournaments because they want to get in matches sitting next to somebody else. They like that experience. Definitely. Uh, I'm an offline guy myself traditionally, uh, so I, I really love the environment of these offline qualifiers. Now, more specifically, um, being that Combo Breaker will actually be the offline qualifier for North American region again, um, how does that make you feel? I think it's wonderful. Again, I like it as an opportunity for the players. I greatly appreciate it as a promoter and somebody running an MKX event. Um, I think it's a win-win for just about everybody involved. So I'm really looking forward to seeing the matches that come out of it and really looking forward to hopefully, once again, having one of the largest MKX tournaments in the country and this time having an even larger, more substantial prize to offer the players that are showing up to compete. Definitely. I know all of us can't wait to watch as well. Um, I do sincerely thank you so much for your time. We're all looking forward to Combo Breaker. Any uh, final words for our viewers? Yeah, Combo Breaker is May 27th to 29th this year in St. Charles, Illinois. You can register for the event at ComboBreaker.org or find additional information about everything else that we've got going on that weekend. Um, looking forward to seeing everybody play. Awesome, man. Thank you so much for your time, Rick, and uh, look forward to speaking with you again. Looking forward to it. Uh, I just want to say from a personal experience with Rick, he is one of the most amazing individuals. I love him to death as a tournament organizer and just a human being. He really took care of me. Last year when I went to Combo Breaker, it was one of the best tournament experiences I've ever had. And yeah. I've been to quite a few majors in my lifetime. So huge shout outs. I couldn't be happier that it is Combo Breaker for our offline qualifier. Yeah, I wish uh, that was one of the tournaments that I've always wanted to go to. Yeah. Without well, a doubt. You won't be able to, so. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that is going to lead us up to our grand finals match. It's going to be Nobles Jupiter versus Critical Reactions. Sonic Fox coming up next. We'll be right back.
Time has come. To face you in mortal combat? To teach you respect. Liu Kang, the champion of Earthrealm. Orphan at a young age, Liu Kang was raised by Shaolin monks who trained him in the ways of the spiritual warrior. Having defeated Shang Tsung and Shao Kahn in mortal combat, Liu Kang is ready for any fight with Fists of Fury and Dragon's Fire. <laughs> Let us get to know each other. In the Duelist variation, Liu Kang changes between light and dark metamorphosis, altering the properties of his projectiles. In the Dark Stance, Liu Kang's dark sphere can stop on command, trapping and juggling your foes in the corner. In the Light Stance, Solar Flare, back forward X plus right trigger, is best used to juggle your opponent. Choose between the searing damage of light, the setup potential of dark, or a combination of both. Simply too fast. I will show you hell. Liu Kang ignites the fury of the Shaolin in the Flame Fist variation. Use Shao Inferno, down down X plus right trigger, to quickly buff Liu Kang's punching attacks and extend combos. His new enhanced special attack, Windmill Flurry, is a great armored launcher that can be canceled into another special. The potential chip damage of Flame Fist punishes any foes who choose to block. Use Liu Kang's mobility and quick normal attacks to punish those that choose to flee or attempt reversals. I am far more than mortal. The Dragon's Fire variation encaptures the Liu Kang legacy with high pressure play and ferocious fireballs. Liu Kang's Dragon Fire can be dash canceled to extend combos and push your enemy to the corner. Keep up the corner pressure with Liu Kang's fast normal attacks and dragon fire cancels. Keep in mind your opponent will attempt to escape the pressure. Change the tempo of your offense to capitalize on your opponent's mistakes. The strength of Liu Kang rests on safe pressure. Use ankle snap, down A, to poke at your opponent, allowing Liu Kang to stay on the offensive. Whether you choose the adaptability of Duelist, the raw damage of Flame Fist, or the versatility of Dragon's Fire, Liu Kang has an answer for any challenger. Shatter bones for the Shaolin with an X-ray finisher. and go from Enter the Dragon to Release the Kraken with the Brutality. Liu Kang, think again. Liu Kang wins. Lead the charge with Earthrealm's defender, Liu Kang.
just about time to get into grand finals with Noble Jupiter versus I think I said Dab. Like it's just so I'm so <laughs> used to saying Noble Dab. I know it's like it's his full name now. Yeah, but Noble Jupiter is going to be playing Critical Reactions Sonic Fox in the grand finals. Just in case you missed the action, it was very action packed. We had CR Sonic Fox obviously taking over uh, Noble's Beyond Toxin. Jago Blake versus Scar. I mean, the three O's, like, for Toxin and Sonic Fox, it was kind of quick. But for, I mean, Blake was really fighting in there against Scar. Yeah, he had a lot of really good opportunities and a lot of patience. And it was a, it was close, despite the fact that it was so one-sided. Right. And then Jupiter versus Relentless. That was also a match where Relentless was really trying to get offense going. But Jupiter really showed his matchup knowledge against um, Shaolin. He did. But then the final match of the first four, oh my, goodness. my favorite match of the whole season so far. Yeah. <laughs> the one week, <laughs> the the one one week season. <laughs> Zvi versus Vendetta. A really great showing of two characters with really good footsies and really good pressure. And uh, yeah, I, yeah, I just love Zvi. And then we had Sonic Fox, the classic, versus uh, Ultra Arcade Scar. That, unfortunately, was pretty one-sided for Sonic Fox. But surprisingly. Surprisingly, because we know how strong Scar is. And we've seen Scar take Fox to the limit before. Yes, many, many times. So that, I mean, and Sonic Fox, I believe, just tweeted as well. Like, I know Scar is going to come back stronger, and I believe it 100% as well. And Scar still got top four. Bit of a rivalry there. I like it's, it. it's nice to see that. And then the last match before this we just saw was Jupiter versus Vi, which was... It was interesting to watch the way Jupiter really started to adapt. But now it's time for Grand Finals, ladies and gentlemen. The first NA Grand Finals, Week 1, Season 3, ESL MKX Pro League. Let's go Sonic Fox versus Jupiter. And uh, this will be interesting. Like like you said earlier, we haven't seen Sonic Fox against the Jax in a very, very long time. But also, he's now using Alien. And right. Alien versus Jax is not a matchup that I have ever seen in tournament, even once. Yeah. Uh, again, these DLC characters are very new, so we just honestly don't get to see them too much yet. Yeah, and immediately breaks that. I don't know about that breaker because honestly, that wasn't going to lead to anything other than a knockdown. Yeah, he, and maybe he should have waited to see once the meter came out. Nice block. I'll punish it. Here we go. And of course, Jax with one of the fastest standing jabs in the game. He's got to be Six careful frames. about that armor, but beautiful oh. armor breaking setup. And that's going to be a combo. He's oh. got a break. This is a really good situation now for Jupiter. Oh, again with the overhead. Oh, he did it. <laughs> what a confirm. <laughs> He's still alive. Oh, oh, and that acid. Yeah, no real way to get around that. <laughs> he did the wake up knee and it traded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What a confirm, though, from uh, Sonic Fox, but there's a back two. We haven't really seen that button too much from uh, Fox. Yeah, yeah, it's a very far range overhead that launches for a meterless combo. Yep. Which, uh, it's oh, great. but again, Sonic Fox with the overhead armor. Nice uh, tech. Oh, and oh, here we go. Starts his pressure. This should be a lot of damage. Oh, but oh. he drops it, and that's going to... Basically it. I mean, wait a sec. No, don't stand in it. What wait, are you doing? why did he? He literally ran up and stood inside the, the acid. I don't understand why. It was like he was just like, just he's happened? like, forget it, dude. I'm just going to go walk on this acid and just oh my take a nice God. little stroll here. That was too much. I, I don't. Jupiter's not the type of player to give up, though, so, like, watching that was so weird. Yeah, I don't know what he was actually trying to do. I feel like he wouldn't have just killed himself there, but. <laughs> Regardless, it was a pretty funny situation. I mean, he could have potentially made a comeback. I mean, granted, Fox did have... Uh, he was close to getting a bar if he didn't already have one. I didn't see, but... Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yep, looks like Jupiter's sticking with the same thing. I don't believe Jupiter plays any of the characters, really. It's just... <laughs> you all right there, man? Yeah, I'm sorry. Can't handle him just walking up into the bottle? <laughs> It was it was too much. Ooh, and starting out with the knee. That knee is such a great mix-up. You can either do a hit or a command grab or any of his amazing specials off of it. Oh, here we go. He doesn't care about down four. But he should care about dropping that Again, combo. He's dropped quite a few combos yeah. to set already. And Fox pushing him right back into that uh, acid pile. Yeah, and we get to see quite a few um, overhead and low mix-ups from Alien here. He does have an overhead and a low start. And that should be it. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, he's like, you can't do anything. Oh, oh no, wait a nice. second. Uh, he still can't really do anything, though. <laughs> he jumped over. <laughs> oh! the, the puddle. 
He's he's trying to get through the. Uh, <laughs> this, if this whole set revolves around him and that and that acid puddle, I'm I'm gonna lose it. I can't. Oh, and that was a great conversion off of the deep jump kick. Takes plus frames. He's gotta be careful of armor. Oh no! That doesn't combo because he hit it. You can actually delay that, and it still would have comboed. Yeah. But he did it as fast as he could, and uh, didn't. This again, that overhead has been the story of Sonic Fox's night. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that is honestly the majority of his damage has come from this. Here we go, immediate break from Sonic Fox trying to close out the next game for himself. Still standing in the acid. Oh, and he's just taking so much damage, yep. even just sitting there blocking. Jupiter's trying to fight his way out, but Sonic Fox is still controlling the pace, even though he's down on life. Oh, and it doesn't, it wasn't quite close enough for that to convert. But he's just gonna need one more hit. Oh, oh, the down two killed. He he down two there. I I'm almost 100 percent sure because he was expecting yeah. that meterless knee, and he's just like, no, nah, I'm just gonna. But hit he even that did knee. the meter. Knee. There was meter. That's true. Yeah, and uh, he just he, he just knew he was gonna kill. Sorry to cut you off. No, no, it's okay. Sorry, uh, not sorry. He just didn't have the life to live through that. <laughs> yeah. So great choice. What a what a read by Fox though. Yeah, and uh, this is looking to be potentially a quick finals unless Jupiter really makes some adaptations. I mean, he needs to get his stuff started, but the biggest problem there is with that armor, with that great selection of armor that Alien has. Yeah, he I just, mean, he always gets out somehow. He has the great, we, we always talk about how he always has the high-low, but we only see the overhead because it's always worked. Yeah, yeah, literally, again, never use the low. Round one. Jupiter, you're keeping my ho Oh, it's the, the uh, variation color. I, wow, I really like this, this color for Alien. Oh, the, uh, the ultimate color? I've never seen it. White alien. There right, nice block. Oh, oh, oh. oh. No, one, two, will armor break. Yep. That overhead is rather slow. That does work, yeah. Uh, I mean, even though he didn't punish it, it'll still work as a safe option yeah. relative to the other time. Jabs to get out. Here we go. But, I mean, unfortunately, he's still taking damage. Yeah, a little bit of damage. Dishing out quite a bit. Nice. That was very risky. One, two, and an overhead dash punch. Oh, and just chip life here. Can he get past yeah. the poison? Just wakes up with the knee anyway. He says, if I'm going to go down, I'm going to go down as Jupiter. Look at that round knee. Two, fight. And Sonic Fox is one round away from closing out this grand finals that I think potentially the fastest set of the night. Possibly. And, uh, it's looking close here. He's got him in the corner. He wow. needs to get out of that corner. This Great choice. This has been 110% Sonic Fox. All right, he gets to start some pressure. That down four, six plus frames. Oh, nice little stagger there. Great Nice hits here, but he doesn't convert. And Jupiter's trying to fight now. Fox does have enough meter to break this. Oh! Oh, oh and he actually just woke nice up with the crawl. Nice knee! Forward three into the grab. One plus two, I like it. Look at that. Look at that knee. Uh, oh, I feel like he could have just down two. He actually armored through the string. Yeah. Down one two has a gap in it, and very few people have, have, have I ever seen armor through right. it. But of course, Fox available all of, people. Of course. And uh, this is looking pretty one-sided. Jupiter's got to get something going. That was very risky for oh, Fox to just punish. do a down four after the projectile was on hit for him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, tried to stop him from doing a high move, and all right, we're one hit away here. No, it's not going to be enough to oh, chip. If it's Jupiter gets something. Oh, oh the block. No. <laughs> and the great alien tea bag. Look at that tail. Just uh, giving him some Kool Aid. Good night. So that's going to be wow. it. I was really expecting that to be a lot closer than it actually was. Me too. Me too. I, I said it earlier. I was like, I think that uh, Jupiter could be the one to take out Sonic Fox yeah. today, but nobody even came close. No one. <laughs> That damn overhead <laughs> it's, was working so much. And it wasn't that he was just like, oh, it's so good. It, Fox was reading every situation, every wake up, every gap in between pressure. Yeah. He honestly could have probably done that with any character. Yeah. That's, but that's Fox that for you. Did it, and what we really saw was Fox just dominating the control with the poison. So obnoxious. Yeah, yeah. Uh, taking advantage of a lot of situations, taking all that damage, and... Just using the fact that, I love the fact that he was using his zoning and using his rushdown equal. Yes, he really was. And I liked right there when we saw the, um... <laughs> like, what was that? 
But I mean, that's not to say Jupiter didn't have a few tricks up his sleeve. The, we saw the armor breaking setup that he used before in the tournament tonight, but it just didn't matter. Fox was a train running through everyone at night with Alien. Yeah, and as we saw, you know, the interesting thing to me that makes a lot of sense is he's really great at using the poison on the ground like it's Caltrops. Yeah. And in case you guys didn't know, within the last update, Sonic Fox got an achievement in the game named after himself for Caltrops. Yep, so congratulations to Sonic Fox for winning the very first week of Season 3. Congratulations to Jupiter for getting second place. That's going to be huge for points for him. And we actually have Sonic Fox on the line, and he's going to be with Brian. Take it away. Thanks, guys. Yeah, we are joined by our Week 1 champion, Dominic McLean, uh, a.k.a. Sonic Fox. Not just Week 1, but Season 1, Season 2. Uh, <laughs> congratulations, sir. Thank you. <laughs> well, honestly, uh, let's be real. Everyone expected you to be here tonight. Um, is it still challenging for you or stressful at all to, to really stay on top and to keep winning uh, so frequently? Um, yeah, uh, like players are getting better. Obviously, you could see like Scar had, um, had my number actually um, to, uh, on, on Saturday. He beat me in the Challenger Cup. So there's a lot of players that are leveling up now and like... It's getting kind of scary now because you don't know who's going to make top eight anymore. Just recently in final round, I got sent to losers by Peanut, who saw that one coming. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a great match. Uh, I was actually hoping we would see Peanut tonight, and I was, I was going to love to talk to him. Uh, mm -hmm. But again, like, like you said, uh, I was going to bring up that you played Scar on uh, Saturday in the Challenger Cup, and he actually beat you in the finals. Were you, were you really concerned about him tonight? Do you train specifically for that? Um, yeah, Scar and I, like, we're, like, really, really concerned to each other, um, for each other, because, like, we know, like, we're kind of, like, the only threats to each other. Like, that, I guess that's how we feel right now. It's just, like, there, there's only uh, one other person that I think that could, like, easily, like, be just as much of a threat to us, which is a Foxy Grandpa, but obviously he's in the uh, Europe League, so we don't have to really worry about that. But as, as much as we fear each other, we also train together a lot and play and talk a lot of shit. So, um, there is a lot of, um... Are really between us. So, um, like when he beat me in the Challenger Cup, that was one of the greatest matches I've ever played in my entire life because it literally came down to final round, final match, literally um, last pixel, and he just made one read where he anti aired me, and it was so crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I was concerned about him tonight, but um, I wasn't as far as surprised. Um, like I, I actually didn't expect it to beat him 3 0. Um, the first match was really, really scary, and like I, he actually messed up one of his combos to actually seal out the first match that we just played, um, which I think that kind of like mind boggled him for that match because then I was able to take the second arm um, the last round convincingly. Then I guess the rest of that was kind of, I guess it, it just kind of like got easier and easier. I don't know why. So I think it just might have been one of his off days, but I'm sure he'll come back 100 times stronger. Yeah, absolutely. I love watching you guys play. Uh, like Dustin and Chef said earlier, it's kind of the new rivalry. And I, I certainly didn't expect a 3-0 either. Uh, on Jupiter either. Um, Jupiter is an amazing player. He's, in, he's been doing really well all night and again a 3-0. But congratulations, <laughs> sir. I know we'll see you back. And, uh, you know, just keep doing what you do. You want to know where to find me. I'll be there at the end. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks. All right. <laughs> you know where to find me. I love the confidence. If you guys want to try to challenge Sonic Fox yourself, go to proleague.com forward slash MKX. And if you want to check out the Challenger League, which Sonic Fox now cannot uh, enter for the next week, you can check out esl.gg slash MKX Challenger. Yep, tonight was great. I can't wait uh, to see what's in store for the rest of the season. That's going to do it for us. We'll see you next week.